<laughs> At least before he arrives. Can you say something about him? I just... I'm <laughs> eager. What do you want to know about him? <laughs> anything. I mean, just anything. How tall he is. <laughs> is he cute? Well, there's nothing much to say about him. Lady Clary. <laughs> Now you are kidding me. No, it's not funny. I just... <laughs> listen, I just want to know. You know, is he short? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Listen. He is tall. Hmm. He is very... See the way I stress the very? Mm. Very handsome. Ah, uh, my uh -huh. spec. Uh -uh. And financially stable. Very important, my very, darling. Very, important. very, very important. <laughs> then he's very caring. And so loving to be with. Oh, yeah. man. You like him. Yeah, no, I mean, no, no. You will love him. This is what every woman wants. Yes. <laughs> Who doesn't want a fine, young, handsome, <laughs> rich dude? But, um... I'm a little bit skeptical about this. I don't even know if this is what I want. I mean, it makes kind of, and... <sighs> I don't understand. What is the problem? My last relationship was really terrible. Very bad. You know, my past relationship wasn't really nice. I had a very terrible experience. I don't want a repetition of that. You know, you keep talking about this bad experience you had in your last relationship, yet you don't talk about it. So why don't you, you know, tell me what, how it was. Tell me everything while we wait. It's not something I want to talk about. Baby girl, let's not ruin the moment. Please. Are you sure about that? Very sure. <laughs> oh, he's, he's here. here. Yes. Oh my God. He is here. I'll be back in a jiffy. Okay. Do I look good? Do I look okay? Ah, you look gorgeous. Mr. Paul Benson. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry I'm late. I'm late. Is the person here? By the way, you're looking so handsome. Am I? As usual. And under 16. Can you imagine? Nekwana and your Eh? Under 14. Uh-huh. Under 14. Anyway, she's here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm late. Your apologies should go to the lady you kept waiting. You're 30 minutes late, as a matter of fact. Oof, okay. Uh, we'll deal with that. <laughs> One more thing, Clyron, please. You, you see this arrangement that we have? I would really appreciate if I get to see pictures, if you know what I mean, like a social media handle, you know, something, something to work with, you know, before I... Uh, okay, maybe next time. But she's here. All right. I'll come and see. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What? Many. Oh. Is there something I should know? It's a long story. My God. Nanya? Hello, Nene? What is it? Wait. Do you know him? I don't understand. Nene, please, just tell me. Is there something I need to know?
Listen, I can sense you're very upset, but just calm down and talk to me. What is going on? Why? What is actually going on? I need to understand. What is it? She refused to talk to me. So, talk to me. Not now. Why? Look, can we talk about something else? There's nothing else to talk about. Let's forget that hap. Oh. Okay. Your main reason for being here is for us to talk about Chine, but as you can see, everything is now in shambles. In that case, I have to go. I think you should do that. Listen, I'll tell you, all right? Everything when, when the time comes, but just not now. As you please. So easy, we just take good cool feelings from inside. Everything is gonna be alright. Yeah. I see you on the looted feelings from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. And the promise to never to break your heart. That is a promise from my heart. From the deepest part of my heart, I give you these words. To love and respect you with all of the life here. Yeah. As in there, I can't wait to see him when you're separated from her former. That guy doesn't love her. Exactly my sentiments. But then, she is too blind to read the writings on the wall. The only thing he cares about is to have her on bed and then start money from her. Mm -hmm. I don't like him. What do you expect? I mean, he's a professional at what he's doing to our friend. Babe, maybe we should go out of our way to separate them. What do you think? Come on. She's an adult for goodness sake. The best breakup will happen once Chinenye is ready to call it a quit. Until then, we can't be overly nosy. I don't even know what she's doing with that, that riffraff. I neither. You know, what I can't understand is... What is the problem? What happened? Girls, you wouldn't believe who I met today. Who? Talk to us. Paul Benson. <gasps> of all people. Goodness. How? What are you, how? What are you talking about? Uh, I don't uh, understand. Babes, I don't understand either. Okay, you know what? <gasps> just, just come and sit down and tell us exactly what happened. Please, just say it. Come on, babe. Jesus. I mean, no, 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 Now I believe they say that what goes around comes around. She is the last person I was expecting to see today. But the question is, what is the connection between Clarion and Chinene? 
why am I not aware that the both of them know each other? There is more to this and I must unravel it. I will get to the bottom of it. Please. Come on, Nene. Really? Really, Chi? Yes. So you're telling me you actually need a prophet to come and confirm that Paul is the man for you? <laughs> no, now you really? I mean, really? God forbid, girl. Listen. Paul is the last man among the species of men. I would rather remain single than, than be with that idiot. Hey, what? I'm taking this thing so far the way you sound. Well, I have said it. I am never, ever going to be with that, that pretentious devil. Jesus. Really? So then you're going to remain single? Is that what you're saying? Oh, well, I have a foreman. He's enough for me. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, hold on. Did I hear you say you have a foreman? Mm-hmm. You have a foreman, yet you just came back from a hookup, which you preached against. Uh, uh, no, wait. Who is lying to who? Yeah. Yeah. Girls, please, please. Hey, Can we goodness. just end this discussion? Please. No, we can't. Not until we are done with the discussion. For goodness sake, Oforma is the wrong guy for you. The wrongest one at that. He does not deserve you. What will it take for you to finally get to see that? And as a matter of fact, that guy is just actually cruise with Hi. you. By the time he's done with you, he will dump you and move on. Don't crochet, girls. Thank you. If you're giving me this advice, telling me this talk, just so I could go back to that guy. I wouldn't. I won't do it. In other words, you're ready to miss out on a good man just because he's made a mistake before. What? Girl, wait a minute. Did I just hear you call Paul a good man? Of course I did. No, he's a good man. You don't know this guy. I mean, there is absolutely nothing good about that good-for-nothing man. Really? Yes. Then, maybe I should take you down the memory lane so that you don't shoot yourself on the foot, babe. Tell me. Anyways, I met him. No, that's a mistake. Okay. I met an angel in the form of a man today. <coughs> Please. Tell me about him. Tell me. Oh my goodness. I can't even wait to tell you. Please do. Okay. This guy is the exact kind of man I have been craving all my life. He is humble, mm. gentle, mm -hmm. kind, <laughs> and most especially caring. Baby! <laughs> so what is in love? Of course, yes, I am in love. Oh my god! <laughs> no, 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 no. This is 
ask for celebrants to be late. Always read my mind. I will get a bottle of champagne. Hey, now, no. hold on. Come. What is it? Please see it. Okay. Please okay. see it. Um. This man. What does he do for a living? Oh. Well, this handsome man is a chartered accountant. He works with the auditing firm that came to audit our company's accounts. Oh my God! Beautiful. That means he's legit. Very le le le. le he is legit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweetheart, I'm happy for you. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, my darling. But wait a minute. Why are you always concerned with what one does for a living? Sweetheart, it's always necessary to know what a man you are going out with is doing for a living. You know why? There are so many men out there who are into illegalities, ranging from fraud, rituals, and all that. So you need to know. Okay, <laughs> now I get the point. Mm -hmm. Now I get what you were saying. Go get the wine. Let's celebrate. Oh, of course, darling. Definitely, yeah. Come on, mama. <laughs> I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, he disguised himself. I didn't, I didn't know anything about him. I did not. Nanye, have you also thought about the fact that perhaps you misunderstood him? Yes. You must have failed to understand him as the event started unfolding. Have you thought about that? Because it's possible. My darling, if you ask me, I will insist that Paul is the best man for you. Going back to Paul will be a total mistake. I don't even want to make that mistake. I won't do it. Jesus. And the plan is? Nothing. Nothing? Yeah. I'm just going to be all by myself. <laughs> The only issues I have right now is my mother. She's been on my neck for me to get married. <laughs> if not for my mom, listen, I won't even be thinking in that direction. Do you know your bothers me when you speak like this? I know. Well, girls, I have spoken my obvious truth. And there is absolutely nothing that will change my mind about it. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, I thought you two said you were going out today. What happened? Why didn't you go out again? Why? Well, that is because apparently, Y has a long tail, and if you cut it, it becomes a V. Enke, <laughs> <laughs> really, you need to go back to primary school. Oh, please. Whatever. You miss those days, right? <laughs> of course I miss those days, but this one right here. This missis, she misses it more. <laughs> and of course, I will speak for myself and my relatives as well. I'm not going to hear that. I don't want to hear that name in this house. I am so done. But Bottom line, your going out today. Yeah, I'm going out. Yeah, you are going out. 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 You are Thank you. Um, this is Precious, the girl I told you about. Precious, this is Mr. Paul. Oh, hi, sir. <laughs> um, 
Lady Clara, please, eh? Can I... Can I have a word with you outside? Of course. Like right now? <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Oh? It's like um, this man is not happy to see me. Uh, no, 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 no. He asked me to bring you. Yeah. So there's no problem. Okay, no problem. I'll Thank you. Right back. Thank you. understand. Why are you asking me that? Were you not the one that said you're open for referrals? Yes, I'm open, but not, <laughs> not that kind of girl now. Come on. It's not the kind of girl you brought to my house. You have to speak in a language I will understand because I am clearly not understanding you right now. Look, it is very simple. You know me. You know my taste in women. You, 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 you've been around me for years. How can I ask that you, 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 you know, you, you link me up with someone and you bring, you bring that short put? Eh? What did you just say? Because I don't understand. What is wrong with her? Everything is wrong with the girl. Ah, ah, she's short. She's short. <laughs> she's ugly. Just look at the girl. I, have you, have you, did you see her standing beside you? You saw her standing beside me, right? No, look at me. Look at me and look at that girl. When that girl stands in front of me, she's here. Claron, she's here. Like this, she's here. Izo. Yes, Izo. Oh, nobody's ugly. Nobody. And let me ask you, are you looking for a girl to marry or a speck you can cruise about town with? Which one? I am looking for a woman to marry that is also my taste. When it comes to marriage, my dear, you look out for character. Forget about skin color or size or anything. Agua, mm -mm. wine. Character is the beauty of a woman. That is what you should be looking out for. Yes, and this is what you people say to men every day that makes them marry ugly women. That's the first face you see every morning when you wake up. You can imagine that girl when I wake up in the morning without makeup. That girl. She looks like a little shrine. I don't even know what you're trying to say. Paul, are you in or out? I am in. I'm trying my best to give you the best here, so don't make me look stupid right now. Claro, you call this the best. Ah, uh -uh. Claro, this one is the best. For you, yes. For... You're not a good person. No, you look at a man like me, and you bring that to me and call her the best for me. Come on now, sugar size. Why are you like this? Eh? Why do I have the feeling that you're just looking for an excuse not to settle down? Because that is what I'm seeing. No, if I don't want to settle down, I won't even ask for your help. I know what I'm looking for. Find me a classic girl. Someone, first and foremost, height. You know, I just look at her. Ah, you won't understand. You're not a man. How can I be looking at that girl like this? Like this, this I'm looking at her. Please now, tell her to leave or she cannot be here. Chai! Don't make me look stupid because you're the one that made me bring that girl to you. I don't even know if I'm in or out anymore. So, um, precious, eh? right? Yes, precious. Mm. It's fine. You are going to be staying with me for for a while. Okay, I am aware, and I came prepared. <laughs> well, I'll have to leave you so you can get to know each other better. Hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I. I want to say that I appreciate your efforts. Oh, what are friends for? If not to be there for each other in times of need. <laughs> um, all I ask is for you to take good care of her, please. Hmm? I have hmm. to be on my way now. Hmm? Okay. All right. Take care. Thank you. And take care too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
So you can relax, feel at home. No need to pretend about anything at all. Okay. Um, besides, I don't even know how to pretend. So many people, they like me. And I know that you will like me very well too. Uh, look, when you go upstairs, second room to your left, all right? That would be the guest room, that's your room. Second room to, second room to my left. Okay. You know okay. how to count. Yes. When you get upstairs, you're going to find rooms on your left. Count two on your left. One, two. Mm? Yes, yes, sir. Second to your left, eh? Yes, sir. That's the one. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Drag this local champion. What? What is uh, it's like um, my <laughs> it's like my story is not very interesting. Oh no, it is quite interesting. It's just that I'm worried with the, <laughs> but, yeah, you know, the way you laugh. Uh, it just worries me. Uh, yes. How? How do you mean the way I, I laugh? You laugh like a bushwoman, actually. Yes, you know, you, you cannot be laughing like that. Okay. This is a okay. very nice quiet estate okay. in GRE. Okay. This is this is GRE. Like this is an estate. Okay, in my place. Uh, when where that was how I grew up. Yeah, uh, but my neighbors could hear you and that's oh, not really nice. Okay. So here we don't laugh like that. We we, we get it together. You get what I'm trying to say? Uh. Do you understand? <laughs> so if you want to laugh, try to be civilized about it. You get like there's a way you watch foreign movies. Right? Yes. You see when they want to laugh, rich people want to laugh. Try it. Yes. Try it. Try it. Laugh like them. Oh God. God. Oh God, this is so sweet. Oh my God. Nice. Oh. Yeah. To stand in love but true love yeah. The feelings are beautiful Even life's gonna be so Love is very, very sweet.
I'll not be able to finish it though. I'll not finish it too. Call me baby one more time. I'll throw you out of this house. My name is and it's Paul. Please, I'm begging you now. My name is Paul. Paul Benson. My name is not baby. Please, just address me properly, Mr. Paul. Uh, okay. I just want to know why did you leave the dining like that? Eh? What did you say? Why did you leave the dining like that? I left because you were going to kill me. Jesus Christ, kill you? Me. Yes. Me? How? I cannot kiss somebody. Oh, you don't even know what you did. What did I do? Have you seen how you eat? You eat like an animal. You eat like a goat. Mm. No, I don't see anything bad in the way I was eating. I was oh. just enjoying the food. Just said, uh, where, where did you where did you come from? Where are you from? Um, where I come from? Oh. My village, my village. The village? Yes. Hmm. Clarion. Ha! Hmm. You brought a village girl to my house for marriage. Huh? They brought you. It's it's clear. You're you're a bush. You're a bush girl. And why you're why you have insisted to stay here is what I don't understand. It cannot work. It's not going to work. It's not going to happen. You're a bush girl. See the way you see the way you eat. Who eats like that? What modern day woman eats the way you eat? You eat like a dog. You you're licking. What you you, you, what, you didn't see yourself? It's just my normal way of eating. You know, when I enjoy food, I used to lick my hand, enjoy myself, a drink. When I'm enjoying myself, and, and when you drink, you have to make that very disgusting noise. That sound is is terrible. It used to make the food go down very well. If I do, we should do. What's wrong with you? So small. You will learn where here. I'm asking you. Where do you want to learn? Here, you don't have sense. We found love, yeah. Not to stand in love, but true love, yeah.
husband go to. Hey? My husband. Why? My own. Ozzy? Mine. Look, I left this room because you were snoring. Okay? You were snoring. You were snoring. The entire room was vibrating. You were snoring. And it is very disgusting to snore. What did... Did they not teach you? Oh... Ah, ah, I'm so sorry. I have breathing problems. Look, I don't care what you have. What you really need to have... is manners. I have... You don't have... You don't... Be quiet. Look at you. Push girl. What's important is for you to learn how to live and behave like a modern day woman. Huh? Huh? That one is not a problem. I will learn. I tell you, I will learn anything that you want me to learn. I will learn it. Where? If I may ask. When and, and where? How, how are you going to learn? Hey, ask me and you will become husband and wife. Everything will just work like that. You are retarded. What, you think you're here for industrial attachment? My house is not a place for IT. You were brought here to... I can't actually believe I'm going to say this. You were brought here to see if you and I can actually work best as a couple. Yeah. As, couple. as a couple. Yes. We work. Husband and wife. But it was clear the moment you walked through my door and walked into my house that it was mission dead on arrival. And what is that nonsense? What's that stupid spot at the center of your face? Namaste. You can't kill me. Namaste, I won't. Now, okay, I'm sorry. Sorry if, about I, what? I'm sorry to, to get you upset now. <laughs> I'm not upset. See, see, you are. You're upset. And the, the least thing you can do is to, to leave this house this morning angry. It's not good. It's not good. This girl. Okay, talk to me. What is your problem? What do you want? Why are you blocking me? Why won't you let me go to work? What is it? Uh, because I've been trying to get your attention. Now, see, see, see the way you are talking. And eh? this girl, this girl, and eh? someone that is trying to love you. Eh? It's not, it's not good now. Your voice and your body language tells me that you're angry. See, eh? let me tell you. Anything you want me to do, tell me. I'll be do it too. I'm a very fast learner. Very fast one. Anything you want me to do, I'll just learn it. Slow down. So you mean to tell me that you... You didn't, you, you didn't take in everything I said in the room. I took everything. No, everything. You, no uh, 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 you did not. I made it clear that my house is not where you come for industrial training. My house is not for IT. Precious! I'm not looking for someone to groom. Do you understand? Yeah, I understand now. It's, it's small, small now. It's small, small. Everything will work out. Just small, small. Eh? Hi. Small, small. Uh, okay, what's your highest level of education? Um, <laughs> diploma in food and nutrition. I can cook very well. Very, very well. Just food. Okay, no BSc, no HND, nothing. Just food. That one. Hi! No problem, I have plans. So. I have plans to further. I say once I settle like this, bam, once I just settle in this house, 
I will fall down and do all those BSc and diploma things. I will do them. That's my plan. Once you settle where? In this house. To settle. In my house? Paul, Paul, you're going to bust a vein. Uh, listen. I'm not looking for somebody to train. Do you understand? Like, I'm not looking for someone to... I want to go to work. Move. Precious. I'm not angry. I don't hate you. But you're not my taste. What's new? You don't understand it. Um, okay, okay. You're not angry. Um, I, I need food. Have you looked at me? And have you looked at yourself as well? Uh, hey, no. Look at you right here. And that's me. You can see the difference. Now, look at you. This is you. And this is me. How would it work? Mm. Do, do you understand that it cannot work? You still don't get it. Please, now. Get your things together and leave my house. Um, at least breakfast is before you. You can walk now. What's wrong with this man? This and this. You can walk. What kind of man is this one? Huh. All my life. I have not seen a man difficult like Mr. Paul. He wants you to be perfect even in your subconscious mind. Is that ever possible? Well, I can see he has set standard for himself. And any woman he wants to get married to must fit into that standard. I just want the perfect woman. But that will be his greatest undoing. Because no man or woman is perfect. And that is why we are told that we will complement each other. <sighs> but I am falling for him already. What do I do to, to keep him and eventually make him to, to marry me? The matter you didn't look happy at all. That is because I did not sleep well. What? What is the problem? The problem is that you left a little shrine in my house. <sighs> Clara, why now? Why? I told you to get me someone. Where did you get that girl from? Does it matter where she's from? Oh, it matters. It is very important. Look, history is important. The problem we have is that we neglect history a lot. History is important. If you had just checked out this girl's history, I wouldn't be sweating right now. Where did you get that girl from? But what did she do? That girl is a bush rat. That girl is a typical Okuku Ibo. That girl is a bush rat. That girl is that girl is local. Like, have you interacted with her? Or you just brought her in and like that and just brought her to my house? Like, did she spend some time here? Listen, you have not told me what she did. No, you should be asking what she did not do. That is the question. That is what the question should be. What don't you understand? That girl is deliberately running away from civilization. She is bush. Civilization is coming this way. She's going that way. You don't. You don't get it. You don't. You don't know what I'm going through in my house. I'm asking you now. Where did you get that girl from? Because she cannot continue to stay in my house. She has to go. She has to leave my house. No, 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 Paul. She just came yesterday. 
and you have already concluded. <sighs> I mean, I thought we agreed that you spend some time with you, quality time, so that you can at least get to know her and find out if it's going to work between you. That was the agreement, but as it is right now, I'm about to lose my life. She has to go. She has to go. You know, in everything you have said, you have not said one thing. I mean, I don't understand. What did she do? She did everything. She has done everything. She cannot, she does not know how to talk. She does not know how to eat. She does not know how to sleep. She does not know how to laugh. And then she has this very funny spot at the center of her head like a little female priestess. I don't get it. And you know she's now like this. She now looks like a mobile deity moving around in my house. Like some little priestess. I don't get it. Now, where did you get that girl from? <laughs> Paul, <laughs> please. Let's just go to the office. We'll conclude this discussion. This is not funny. <laughs> I'm not finding this funny. Paul, please, let's go. Let's no, so you think, you think this is funny? Oh, because you are not the one suffering this frustration. You think this is a joke? So what exactly is the problem? I don't know. He's saying that uh, he sees me like a, a local girl, like someone who does not even have a touch of him more than things. So what did you do that made him start thinking that way? Because he complained to me, but I did not want to give him a listening ear until I hear from you. Um, after you introduced me to him, that day you now left her. Uh -huh. When I was sitting outside, I was now telling him a beautiful story. I mean, I was now laughing. And I was saying, ah, he does not like the way me I'm laughing. No, I'm laughing like a local girl, but he does not like it. What does he mean by you are laughing like a local girl? I mean, he told me that, but I just did not understand it. No, I don't know. It's just my normal way to laugh that I laugh too. Okay. What else did he complain about? Um, I don't know. Daddy, we were eating. I made sweet food. As I was eating, maybe he was not okay with the way I was eating. He now walked out. He left me there. Just like that. I, I just felt that maybe he did not like the way I was eating. Okay. What else did he complain about? Uh, that. Me, I'm snoring. But that is not of your making. Oh. I mean, it can be controlled. <sighs> Precious, let me ask you something. Ask me. Do you like him? Ha. They ask him if I like him. Ha. I love him. I love that man very well. He's a very fine man. You see, his skin very soft. A sweet man that every woman wants. wants. Every day I used to wish that, oh, God, let this man just hold me like this. No. Okay. So you are ready for anything he throws at you? Anything. Let him just throw me anything. I am ready. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I laughed. You know, Bon, you don't have to run into such conclusions. What conclusion? Now, the girl is an Umbeke. She's a local foul. That's what she is. What conclusion? I, I, I like to speak my truth at all times. I, I don't understand. All right, Paul. The girl is local. So. Okay. I asked her, where do, where do you come I asked her. I said, where do you come from? She said, I came from my village. <laughs> so. What's up? What's the next cause of action? What plan? She has to leave my house now. What are you talking about? She has to go. Why don't you give her some time to learn? I feel she might be a fast learner. Huh? What is this thing with learning I keep hearing? Learning, learning. My house is at an IT center for undergraduates. So she's not there to learn. She's, she's there to, to, to give all that she has and all that she knows. Right? Paul, you know there's something I don't like about you. What? Your bad mouth. This is not about bad mouth. I could not sleep. The girl was snoring. You need to see this girl eat. It oh. is disgusting. She's licking her fingers like my great grandmother. She is she's impossible. She does not know how to laugh. She does not know how to she she doesn't know how to even cook. I, I don't know what the girl is doing in my house. I don't know where Clarion got that girl from. She can't she can't nothing. If that girl continues <coughs> to stay in my house, I lose my life. Ah, please. You know, this snoring thing is one thing I hate. Oh. Like, if someone snores close to me, I might end up not sleeping that whole night. You have, you, you have no idea what I went through last night. 
I had to, I had to, of course I had to leave the room. Got into the guest room so I can catch some sleep. Oh, no, 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 I can't, I can't go. But, you know, Claren might not be happy that you don't like the girl. But this is about my happiness now, what, 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 Claren? It's about me. What, I'm supposed to get used to this? You're not supposed to get used to something that isn't right for you. The girl is bad for me. She has to go. Paul, do you know that if you send this girl away now, she will be the fourth girl to leave your house in six months? If not the fifth, but I don't care. I'll keep searching, never will give up until I find the woman that is right and perfect for me. Okay. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. On your search for <laughs> the chosen one. Yes, yeah, sir. Thank you. But this one, oh, she has to go. What the hell? Oh, I too bad. I know I made you cry. I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Now I am down on my knees. Begging. Hello. Come now. <laughs> yes, I'm fine. What of you? Uh, they are all fine. <laughs> what is the problem? The account is not balancing. Uh -uh. Okay. Okay. Take a walk around on that account that you created. You must see where you made a mistake and then correct it. You've done it already. Uh -uh. So, what could be the problem? Okay, so what's the differential? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, the mistake must be from you. Let me tell you what you should do, eh? Yes, create a suspense account. Yeah, because that account must balance. All right. Go and take care. Bye. Mom, mm -hmm. it has been a while since Uncle Paul came back. Yes, ma'am. Well, he was here this morning. When? My dear, we have already gone to school. Oh yeah, that's true. So mom, tell me, when is he coming again? <laughs> I don't know, maybe soon. I don't know, I don't know. Mom, call him, I'm missing him. I miss him more. I want to see him. It has been long. <laughs> hey, okay, no problem. It's late already. Hmm? Finish your homework. Maybe I'll call him tomorrow, okay? Thank you, mom. Welcome, dear. I need you to go to the room. Pack your things. Get it together. I leave my house. 
What did I do? What did I do? Eh? What did I do? You've done nothing. Yeah. But you have to go. Please, yeah. Did I not make it clear before I left here that you and I don't belong to the same class? Yeah. And you and I cannot be an item. Yeah, I made it very clear. Why are you still here? Yeah, because I told you that I am a very good learner. That anything you want me to do, I can learn. And yes. I also told you that my house is on the breeding ground. For human beings, you're an adult. You should be able to help yourself. Huh? I don't have the time for this. Precious, you have 20 minutes. Go to the room, get your things together, and let me drop you off. And please now, no taba, it's not good. Okay, please, 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 I love you so much. Listen, you're already short enough, so when you kneel down, I cannot even see you. Okay, please. Get your things, I'm, I leave my house. Hey, no problem, I, I will go. Look, it's not that hard, okay? Go up there, get your things together. You have 20 minutes or less. Please. I will drop you off if you can't find your way. I, I love you so much. See, look into my eyes and see love. True love. Pure love. Look. Look. Love. I love you so much. Please. Uh, please, now. Let Why are you so delicious now? Eh? Do you know? Shum. Can't get it. Do you actually think that someone like me is capable of falling in love with someone like you? That's what I meant. Yeah. The only thing that you are doing is because as he went out now, you saw another girl that you want to bring inside this house to come and sleep with. That's why you are doing all this. You think I don't know. I know all these things. I know. Mm. I think I mm. And even if that were to be the case, you think that I owe you an explanation? I will bring my guest right here and make out with her right in front of you. And here I will join you people and the three of us will do it together. Put it together. It's very, very sweet. Like that. Of course, I believe you. Thank you. I don't expect any less from you because you're a local rat. Mm? Precious. You and I have enjoyed this exchange enough. I need you to go to that room, get your things together, and leave my house. Even if I want to go now, it's late now. Let, 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 let me go in the morning. It's late. Let me just sleep. You know what? I'll drop you off. I will take you to where you live. I just need you to leave. If you don't leave my house, precious, I am going to throw you out in a very uncivilized manner. Leave my house. How hard is that to ask? I will go. Get out! Go, go. It's already late now. It's already late. How do you want me to go? Ha! It's my own. You have big heart. You have mind. I, I told like this, that's how it's told. Your mind is very tall. People, they say tall people used to have mind. I see to do. You have mind. Please now. Not just stand and laugh but me. The feelings are beautiful. Even life's gonna be so easy. What happened? He does not like me. And he still gave those useless reasons he gave me this morning. He, he's even the one that even dropped me at your gate and he, he, he uh, left. Oh. Paul came to this house and he did not come inside. Eh no. He came. He's very angry. Very, 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 very angry. He even gave me money to for settlement. I told him, God forbid, do that. I don't want this money that it is love that I want. So, this is serious. What is wrong with Paul? What is wrong with him? Eh? Um, maybe we are not meant to be. And of all times to drop you off, it is this night. Shemi is his house now. It's his house, so you have right to, to do whatever he likes to do. Th that's why he now asks me to li live by this time. It's not fair. Oh. It's not fair. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Bring your bag. Let's go inside. Okay? It's gonna be so easy. Oh, it does take good feelings from me inside. inside. Everything is gonna be alright. Have we been in love before? This is the most inhumane thing you have ever done. And I will not take it from you. What is it now? At least I tried. I was gentleman enough to 
to drive all the way to your house and dropped that girl right at your entrance. Really? Yes. If she was your sister, would you have let her leave by that time of the night? Hmm? Huh? No, let's talk about something else. There's actually nothing else for us to talk about. Well, then let's go to work. And what makes you think I'm going to work with you? Hmm? Huh? What is the problem, really? It's not like you're related to the lady in question. What, 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 what is it? But she's a lady. And you don't treat a lady like that. No matter what. She deserves more respect. Even if you don't want to marry her, at least give her her respect. Mm. That is my problem. I see. Well, I'm sorry about that if it upsets you. I'm sorry. That apology should be directed to her, not me. And you know it. Come on now. Are you by chance suggesting that I would have to go apologize? I oh, come on, stop it now. You know it's not going to happen. Of course, that is what I am suggesting. Because that is the right thing to do. But I know you very well. I know you will not do it. And that is your greatest undoing. You are beginning to take this matter personal. And I don't like it. You know your problem? What? Pride. You have so much pride. And if care is not taken, it is going to cost you a lot of damage. Trust me. Are you done? No. Oh yes, you're done. End of time, and they promised you never to break your heart. That is a promise from my heart. From the deepest part of my heart. I give you this word that I die to love and respect you. Oh my darling, how do I look? Girl, come on! Everything is given. Oh, it's really? Yes, it's it's given. Given. <laughs> I can see you're really enjoying your life. You're literally all around town catching crews and having fun. My darling, what do they say again? All works mm -hmm. and no play. Makes Chinaye a dull girl. Indeed. <laughs> so where are you up to? Oh well, I have a date. You do? With a form. Ah! What is that face? Chinaye. What? What exactly will it take for you to realize that guy is not good for you? He is toying with you. He does not love you. All he's doing is extort you. That's what he's doing. He does not love you. He is not the guy for you. Okay, NK, NK, please. We have been over this before. Listen, I, I don't know why you're still having this discussion. I don't want it. Please. Huh. NK. What? You're my friend. I am your friend. And I love you. Which is why I am telling you the truth. Chinenya, all that guy is doing is to extort you. He's extorting you. What will it take for you to realize it? Can you just bring your voice down. We have been over this a million times. Girl, I am not changing my mind anytime soon. I will not stop seeing a former. So please, drop this. Okay? Really? Yes. He's going to hurt you and break your heart mm. with no mercy. Oh, really? Yes. My turn. We have been through this a million times. Take a good look at me. Does it look like I care? Babes, I don't. I am not going to be with Paul. That's fine now. Really? Yes. He don't care? Mm-hmm. You will learn to care when he finally shows you his true color, which I can glowingly see already. Oh, oh yes, you will. My little pumpkin, you bother your little head too much. You know what? Let us wait till that time. But trust me, darling. It is going to be an endless wait. Really? Yes. You think so? Girl, don't be too sure because the former I know can come up with anything at any time. Oh, well, let's wait till then, darling. I said that earlier. Okay. Please. Anyway, mm. are you coming back today, though? 
Mm -hmm. Does it look like I am not coming back today? Oh my goodness, Chinenye, I asked the simple question. Answer with a straight answer. Can I just give you a simple answer? We'll see you later in the evening, baby. See your small mouth. Ah, baby, you see this mouth? So, why not explain to me? It's alright, not today. Uh, some other time, let's just get right into why you're here. What's up? There's this property for sale. Okay. And I am certain you will like it. What are we looking at? Land, if you duty, machines. Um, residential buildings and a bar. A bar? That one caught my attention. I've always wanted to own a bar in this town. Eh? Uh, you know, where frustrated men like you and I can sit out in the evenings after work and, and, just, and just let out steam. Um, okay, sounds, sounds good to me. Yeah. Uh, we, we, we can do it. But so, how do I see this property work? What, what does it entail? What do I need to do? Okay, I think um, we will go check it out so you see if it's up to your standard. Then, make payments. It's yours. So can we do that this weekend? All right. All right, in that case, this weekend then. No, this weekend. This weekend is fine. This weekend is fine. End of time and the promise to never to break your heart. Do you know my problem with you is that you don't know how to cut your coat according to your boot. Is that an insult or what? It is not an insult. I didn't insult you. I only told you the truth. What's to be truth? Have you ever seen me with the coat? So wh wh why are you talking about coat? I don't mean coats as in a dress. What I'm saying is that the girl you are working so hard to get into your bed, she's way above you. You are a fool to tell me that. This is why I said that jealousy will kill you one day. Me, Darlington, jealous of you. For what? The girl you said is above me was actually the one that asked me out. <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear yourself? Who are you? Ofoma, who are you? What do you have? What exactly do you have that a babe like Chinaya will come for you? Um, Valentin, there is no the joining issues with you. Chinaya saw me as a big boy and asked me out. And we have been together. There is nothing you can do about it. Wait, I really need to understand this. Tina is in love with you. Of course. And I will uh, can assure you here that I'm going to finish her with love. So, so what happens to Amara that, that you've been deceiving? Uh, my guy, if we look it closely, I'm gonna maybe the one deceiving me. But I'm going to be with my Tina here soon. So I don't need any distraction. You mean Tina is coming here? No, I'm going to meet her where she's waiting for me. So drink up. 
ね。You're not drinking your wine? Nah, not, uh, not in the mood for drinks right now. Really? Uh, uh, it's, it's, of course you know, it's, it's been... You have a lot I, of your mind? Of course I know, I, I have a lot on my mind. Um, it's it's not been uh, last couple of days. It's not been easy with me. I've just had a lot on my mind. Then spill it out. I don't mean to bore you, but um, but you already know what my troubles are. You, well, I am not a magician. There's no way I'm going to know what is troubling you unless you tell me. What is it? I still miss Jine. Yes. <laughs> Go and talk to her. Um. She won't even talk to me. She won't even let me get close. That's the problem. She won't take my calls. She won't see me. She won't. She will not talk to me. Hmm. I don't know why you're finding it so difficult, you know, to express how you feel to her. I mean, but I mean, what do you want me to do? I know, of course, you know that this is where you come in. Like, she, 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 she likes you a lot, and she has a lot of respect for you. You know, if you, if you could help, you know. Again, talk to her, please. Well, you know I've always wanted you to get married, yeah. settle down and enjoy the forever after everything. So, that will not be a problem. I will help you again. I'm going to talk to her. I'm going to do everything in my power to make her come back to you and for you to marry her. You know that's a promise? Yes, it's a promise. Oh boy, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, it would, it would mean a lot to me, really. Thank you. You feel better now? <laughs> I don't know, but... <sighs> I feel lighter. Mm. Okay, don't worry. Um, so I have food. In the kitchen, if you don't mind me dishing you a plate. I don't mind at all, please. Huh? All right. <laughs> at least now I have appetite. I've got some appetite now. The end of time, and the promise to never to break your heart. That is a promise from, from the deepest part of my heart. I give you these words. Respect you with all of my life here. Yeah. Everything is gonna be so beautiful. Life itself is gonna be so easy. Oh, it does take good feelings from me inside. Everything is gonna be alright. I will be in love before. So easy, we just take good cool feelings from inside. Everything is gonna be alright. Yeah. Present you with true love, undiluted feelings from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. And the promise to never to break your heart. That is a promise from the deepest part of my heart. 
I give you these words. Sweetheart. Thank you, darling. Uh, you look so hungry. I am famished. <laughs> As I speak to you, I'm empty. <laughs> You're always hungry. This is your big tummy. <laughs> okay, let me go and dish out your food. No, it's all right. Don't worry. Let me, let me first of all, shah. At least freshen up. <laughs> okay. Um, baby. Yes. How is Paul getting along with the girl Clara introduced to him? She's gone, my dear. <gasps> gone. How? What happened? My dear, you see the story is a very long one. <gasps> long. <laughs> well, that means I asked at the right time. You know my friend Hope? Hope now, the one I told you travel to, oh, UK, to the UK. Yes, Hope, I remember. She's her. back into Nigeria. And based on the little that I've known about Paul, I think Paul would accept her and love to marry her. Yeah. Hmm. Well, Hope is not a bad girl. Mm -hmm. She is a good girl, actually. And for her standard, I think she will really make a good match for yes. Paul. <laughs> Sweetheart, the question is will Paul accept to marry her? Baby. That's it. Ah, let's just give it a trial. We never can tell. Okay. In that case, then, bring her in. I should call her. Call her. Okay. <laughs> right away. I will call her and she will come immediately. Hmm? Okay. Let me get upstairs and freshen up. Okay. Right? And don't mm. forget about the food. Yes, yes. Where's my phone? What do you think? Where's my phone? I think I left it in the kitchen. Don't forget the food. Okay. There is a promise to me. From the deepest part of my heart, I give you these words. To love and respect you with all of my life. It's gonna be so easy. We don't stick good feelings from the inside. Everything is gonna be alright. Have we been in love before? Yeah. Not just stand in love, but true love. Yeah. The feelings have you before. Even life's gonna be so easy. My guy, what do they use their mind they do? Huh? I know the right button to touch at any given time. To get what I want to. My brother, I they try. You they try, I beg. To love and respect you with all of my life Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How may I help you? Um, my name is Clarion. I'm Chilanya's friend. Oh, okay. Um, is she around? No, she's not. She went out. Oh. Okay, when she comes back, just tell her that I came. Oh, okay, fine. Right. But why don't you just call her line? 
Um, I didn't want to let her know I was coming, but um, now that she's not around, I'll call her once I step out of here. It's okay. All right. Have a nice day. You too. Thank you. And I'm begging, please don't turn your face away from me. Please allow me to amend all my mistakes. I, I know I treat you bad, I know I made you cry, I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Now I am down on my knees, begging you to give me a second chance. Oh, from you. All I'm begging you is to let me to try again oh, Please, you. if you let me, day. then I will write on my own What was I thinking when I let her go? The vacuum she left is yet to be filled in my heart Ever since she left, I have not been complete as a man but the question is, would she even accept me if I tried to win her back? Would she ever love me again? I have messed up big time and I pray that God gives me one more chance with the love of my life. Where do I begin? to apologize to her. How am I going to make her forget everything that I did? This is indeed a high mountain to climb. Oh, baby, I've changed man now. All I need this is a second chance. Oh, a second you. chance is a second chance to make everything right again. No, I treat you bad. Said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Now I am down on my knees, begging you to give me a second chance. From you, this is a second chance. All I'm begging you is to let me to try again. Hello, Nene. How are you? I am fine, and you? I'm okay. I'm at your house, and you're not around. Yes, I went out, but I'm on my way home now. Oh, okay. Um, Naya, can you please come to my house? Why? I just want us to talk. Clarion, if you want to talk about Paul, I am not coming. Can you just hear me out for the last time? Listen, Lady Clarion, I have so much respect for you. If not, I wouldn't have picked up the school in the first place owing to what happened in your place the last time you invited me and i am asking you to give me that respect again just come over okay i will provided paul will not be in your house this meeting is just between you and i no third party involved all right i'll come thank you present you with true love Undiluted feelings from the inside And to stand with you till the end of time And I promise to never to break your heart That is a promise from my heart Woo! From the deepest part of my heart I give you these words my heart. That I die to love and respect <laughs> I hope you're okay mm. Of course I am Hey. Easy, easy. <laughs> Have you forgotten I'm a strong woman? Please. <laughs> I know that. Mm. So, tell me about the guy. I think what we should talk about first is if you're interested. Sure I am, provided he meets to my standard. Of course he will. <laughs> then let's do this. Let's do it. Okay. What do you want to know about him? Um, <coughs> tell me where he's from, what he does for a living, and his objectives in life. He's a Nigerian from the eastern part of the country, Enugu. 
to be precise. Okay. To be precise. He, work, he works for Ayaka Group of Company as an auditor. That means he's a chartered accountant? Oh, yes, he is. So what is <coughs> Ayaka Group of Companies into? Ayaka Group of Companies is an auditing firm whose duty is to provide accountants, auditors for companies, not just in Nigeria, worldwide. Hmm. He must be an intelligent man. Of course he is. You would like him. Sorry. You would love him. Don't worry. Hmm. I'm beginning to like him already. <laughs> you. <laughs> I can't wait. Don't worry. My husband will take care of everything. Hmm? Okay. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> Hope the drink is okay. Very okay. End of time and the promise to never to break your heart. That is a promise from my heart. From the deepest part of my heart, I give you this. So, did she give you the money? She said tomorrow. Hope she's not playing you. Oh, no, 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 no. Chino is not like that. Her former, how sure are you? 100%. So, like, how much are we looking at? 250k. <laughs> 250k. <laughs> if you like this lady game money. Hmm? Chinenya is rich. Very rich. Now, hey. MBC, as she gave money like this, we'll go suck and drive. That's the intention. <laughs> By the time we are done with her. <laughs> Let's be going, my dear. <laughs> By the time that I'm done with Tina, yeah? <laughs> oh my god. Me? I will make I will make it. Time and the promise to never to break your heart. That is a promise from my heart. From the deepest part of my heart, I give you these words my heart. First of all, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for even agreeing to come for this discussion. Like I said over the phone, I'm here because of the love and respect I have for you. I know. And I will never take it for granted. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Okay, so I... I want to know. What actually transpired between you and Paul? Because you never told me. The ugly experience I had with Paul is not something I want to talk about. It's in the past. I don't even want to think about it. He hurt you that much? Hurt. That man brutalized me. He demoralized me. He. Uh, uh, it's okay. You don't have to go any further. I mean, from your body language and your reactions, I can see he dealt with you and he left a sour taste in your mouth. Exactly the reason I don't want to talk about it. Uh, can I ask you something? It's okay. Go ahead. When you were with Paul, did you love him? Did I love Paul? Paul was my life. He was everything and anything to me. I worshipped everything he did. I see. And that brings me to the reason I called for this discussion. See, one way to show love is by letting go. And if it comes back, then you know it's meant to be. Mm -mm. I completely disagree with that postulation. No, but that is the truth. Because no matter how far it goes, if it is meant for you, it must surely find its way back to you. 
If you took them. anymore? They've not called. I'm still expecting their call. Really? Mm-hmm. But are you sure they will still call you? I don't know for them. It's all about business. Well, I really do pray they call because I don't want you to miss this money. You deserve it. Babe. You see, at this point in this business, I no longer look for buyers. If they fail to buy, some of that person will actually buy it. So oh, don't bother yourself, okay? I like the sound of that. <laughs> Literally, your confidence in this business is growing by the day. It's yes, nice to see. Yes, that is because I sell something that they need to make their homes beautiful. That's <laughs> what I'm talking about. <laughs> confidence! <laughs> Thank you. Speaking of which, you will not believe who I saw down the streets. No. A former for leaking with a girl by the cool corners of the road. Can you imagine? Okay, now, are you saying you saw a former and our friend Chinini floricking along the road or what? <laughs> My darling, fortunately or unfortunately, it was not our girl. It was another girl entirely. Oh yes. Are you serious? <laughs> That means that boy is actually cheating on our friend. <laughs> is that news? Of course we all know he is cheating on her. But the real problem is will Chinenye see it? Because she's not ready to believe anything that contradicts what she believes about the guy. Hey. Gosh, I hate that guy. I detest him. Ah! I think we must find a way to make Chinenye really see who that guy is. Is. What way is there to do it when she's not ready to listen? Or even see the glaring facts? Got my knees and I'm begging. Please don't turn your face away from me. Please allow me to... This is what I call first major. The act of God. No, it is not. You promised you weren't going to tell him I was coming here. What happened? This is not my making, trust me. Mm -mm. Who's making? How did he know I was coming here? Well, over to you. I... She did not know I was coming. Actually, um, just, I, I, I showed up here to, to get the address to your home so that I can come, I can come see you. You haven't changed a bit. Saying things that I'm not. How did you know I am here. I'm being honest with you. I'm being very honest with you. She did not know. I, I just, I just, I just, I, I just came here on my own too. And I'm really happy to see you. You know. Hey. <laughs> and you could have called her over the phone to ask for the address. Well, I, I was calling. I, I, I was really calling. She wasn't um, taking her call, so I took the initiative to, to come here, Chinenye. You know what? I can see both of you have a lot of things to talk about. So, while I go for school runs, why don't you make yourselves comfortable and sort yourselves out? Okay? Um, babe, please. I know you're hurt, but just take it easy on him. Yeah, 
where do I begin? I I don't have a script made out for this moment because I wasn't expecting to see you here but having you here I must say it's a blessing as much as I'm embarrassed to be standing in your presence giving her had treated you in the past but let me take this time baby to say that I'm sorry please 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 Good thing you don't have a script for this moment. But I need to know one thing. What exactly are you sorry for? I'm sorry about the way I treated you. I'm ashamed of myself. I'm embarrassed. But above all, I have grown. Now I know better. But then you're the only one my heart still beats for. Please. Please. Paul, take a good look at me. Does it look to you like I am hurt? Does it look like there is a wound in my heart? No. Automatically, there is nothing. Absolutely nothing to heal. Which means there is no reason for you to be in my life. Get out. No. Please. I know that we're destined to be together. Life presented me with a gift. Which is you. And I messed it up. And I'm asking that you give me another chance to, to heal this hurt in your heart. I can fix it. I know me, I know my strength. All I'm asking is that you have a forgiving heart and give this man another chance to do right by you, baby. Chine, I cannot live without you. I have tried. You think I haven't tried? I have tried. But I have gotten to a point in life where I now live my truth and you, my darling, are my truth. Because of that I can fix. Please. Please. Bring it, please. Give me a chance to fix this hurt in your heart. Give me a chance to dedicate the rest of my life, making it right by you, baby. You are the woman for me, and I am the man for you. Baby, please. I loved you with everything in me. And I still love you. <laughs> I do. But I was going to give my life for you. I know. That was how much you meant to. What did I do wrong? Nothing. I chose to love you. Was it... Was it wrong? I'm sorry. Please. Nanya, please. Don't. I beg you. We can make this right. Please. I'm begging you. 
Please don't let me to try again Please If you let me Then I will right up my arm Baby I must change my life now All I need is a second chance To make everything right again Oh, darling, thank you. <laughs> mm. uh, your friend. So, your friend, what's up with her? <laughs> she is so into it. In fact, she's eager to do it. <laughs> wow. Well, that's good. That's good. I even told her that you take care of every other thing. Of course, yes, I will. <laughs> Um, when will she be free so we could go see Paul together? Oh, oh. she's on standby. Anytime you need her, just let me know. Hmm, that's a nice one. Okay, in that case, <coughs> I, I think we can go there today. What do you think? But baby, I was thinking you should let Paul know first before taking her to him. You see, I want this to be as a surprise package for him. Are you sure he will fancy it? Come on. He will love it. He will love it. <laughs> if you say so, hmm? of course, yeah. let me call her and tell her to stand by and that you'd pick her up on your way. What do you think? Okay. That's okay. Yeah, very much okay. All right, call her. Yeah. Mm, let me call her. Well, okay. why like, don't we just head in while I start getting prepared okay. as you make your call? Okay. Inside. Uh, Hello? Thank you. Thank you. Um, Chine, the truth is that since you left me, my life has been incomplete. Since you left, I have not known peace. Since you left, that is why I want you back. Please, baby. Please. Can never cease to be selfish. So this is about you. It's about your peace of mind. How? How? It's about you wanting a home. Is this it? Listen, you have this all twisted. That's not how I meant it. No, please tell me, how do you mean it? I want to know. <laughs> of course. He has nothing to say. Do you know what exactly your problem is? You have lost it, Paul. I'm going to make this clear and I'm not going to say it again. I am never... Never in my life will I have anything to do with you. Never again will I trust you with my heart. Stay away from me. Tell me to mend my mistakes. I know I treat you bad. I know I made you cry. I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Now I am down on my knees, 
begging you to give me a second chance oh, from you is a second chance all i'm begging you is to let me to try again oh, from please you, if you let me chance. then i will write on my own for the first time in her life she walked out on me this one has gone beyond what i can handle Someone she respects need to have a word with her. Damn it, Paul. What? What? What were you thinking? Hey, Kinsley, what's up? Hello. What's up? Yeah, I'm fine. Uh, not so good, but um, you know, I'm alive, I'm here. What is the problem? That's something I'd like to discuss about the phone. Oh, okay, okay. So, where are you now? At home. I'm home, just came in. Alright then, I'm coming. Alright bro, thanks. He's at home. Alright. <laughs> Look, once you get there, just try as much as possible to be yourself. Just be yourself, okay? Sure. So, being natural is the code, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> get in. I carry. Oh, all I'm begging you is to let me to try again. Forgive me for I'm back on my knees and I'm begging Please don't turn your face away from me Please allow me to amend all my mistakes I know I treat you bad, I know I made you cry I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said Now I... Please, no rough play, no okay, shouting, ma no Please quarreling okay. Just behave yourselves, okay? okay ma Uncle Paul is in the house yeah. So I want you to behave yourselves. All I'm begging you is to let me to try again. Please, if you let me, then I will write a mouth. Baby, I'm a change man now. All I need is a second chance. Said Uncle Paul is he? Where is he? Um, maybe he could be in our room. Maybe he's gonna find. Uh, no, him. no, I don't think he's there. Then where is he? I think he's gone. Why, Mom? Um, you know what? Just go inside, change your clothes, okay? Your food is on the dining. I'll be right back. Hmm? Let's go. Mom, are you sure Mommy didn't lie to us? No, it's not possible. Let's go. Give yourself. I know I treat you bad. I know I made you cry. I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Now I am down on my knees, begging you to give me a second chance. From you, it's a second chance. Nene, what really is the problem? You've been quiet for a while. For over 30 minutes you came into this house. You refused to talk to any one of us. What is the problem? Did something bad happen? No. Then why are you this quiet? I 
met Paul at Clarion's house again. You did? Well then, that should be a good thing, right? At this point, I think this is the act of God. Both of you are meant for each other. Jimmy and both of us are meant to be together. There is no God in this. Clarion actually arranged this. And for all I care, no matter how hard she tries to bring us back together, it will never happen. I would never ever go back to that beast. Yeah. What? It's about time you let go of whatever Paul did to you in the past. Yeah, right. I wish I could, but I can't. But Nenye, dwelling on the past will do nothing but bring you sorrow and more pain. Can't you see? No, darling, for all I care, I have been a fulfilled and happy woman without him. Nenye, Paul is your man. The earlier you stop fighting it, the better for you. Please, can we just stop with this already? I'm sick and tired of hearing this from you too. I'm going to have nothing to do with that young man. And that is fine now. Just uh, well, I'm good. I was going to just um, steal a quick nap. Uh, What's up? Well, all is well. Just that I, I notice your dull countenance. Is something the matter? Oh well, it's a long story, Kay, but um, I'll get through it. Okay. Um. I have all the time, so let's get over to your story. Oh, well, nothing much. It's just that. that is, well, sorry. Before the story, there is someone I would like to introduce to you. Kinsley, who again now? Who? Her name is Hope. Yeah. And guess what? This is a graduate of economics from the London School of Economics. She also holds a master's degree in human resource management. You need to hear her speak. Fluent. <laughs> She's well coordinated. And above all, <laughs> she's a beauty to behold. <laughs> I, I can see from your expressions, I know that you're already getting to like her. I am laughing, actually, because I don't understand why you have chosen a time like this to do this, Kingsley. What, what are you talking about? What I'm saying is simple. I'm not interested. Paul, I have known you for quite some time. And I can tell you that there is something speaking through you. This is not you. Kingsley, nothing is speaking through me. I'm just telling you, look, I'm not, I'm not even interested. I'm not, I'm not searching. I'm not looking for an, 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 another woman. I, I don't care. I don't want. I'm, I'm just not interested. Don't you understand? I'm interested. You are only saying all these things because you have not seen the girl in question. That's it. Guess what? No. She's around. You know, I came with her. You, you, you came to, with, with, with her to my house without telling me. She's outside. Kissy, what is wrong with you? Kissy, what is wrong with you? Respect our friendship now. Respect our friendship. How can you bring someone to my house without telling me? Listen, it is still because of the friendship that I respect. That's why I brought her. No! <laughs> Don't you want to settle down? Of course I want to settle down. Don't you want to have? I want to have my children, but not this way. Hey, bring somebody to my house, Patrick. What's wrong with you? Okay, come on. Respect our friendship. Ah, guy, come on now. Where are you going? I just told you that 
There is somebody outside waiting for you. I need to bring her in. Without my consent? Yes! How did it go? Um, it is quite obvious that he is not in a good mood now. That means we'll have to go and come mm. back some other time. No, no. There's no need for us going back and forth. Listen, we're going to go in there and confront whatever it is we can confront. Who knows? It might just be the one to put a smile on his face this afternoon. Okay? You have a point there. You have a point there. Go okay. in there Let's and go. give him hope. Okay. After you. You. So say hi. She said hello. Hi. Did my friend not tell you what I told him? Uh. No, he didn't tell me anything. Oh well, I'm going to tell you now that you're here. I am not interested. doing this. Kingsley, I don't want to embarrass this girl. Take her out of my house now. Well, I understand that you've been angry before I came in. But it's not right for you to transfer that aggression on us. That, that is exactly what I am going to do, Kingsley, if you don't take this girl out of my house. Take her out of my house. Mr. Kingsley, can you take me out of here, please? Did you hear her? The girl wants to go. Take her. Take me out of here. Take her out. Last person I wish to set my eyes on, not after the stones you pull at your place. God is my witness. I never asked Paul to come to my place. We'll be outside. Mm. We'll wait outside. I, there is something I really want to understand. What is it that Paul did to you that has turned you into a bitter person? I don't want to talk about it. Why? Because it hurts. I have said this before. Listen, the Paul you met at my house is a changed person. I don't know what he did to you in the past. But this present Paul is a changed man. <laughs> Obviously, you do not know this man. I know him a lot. That he is your colleague doesn't make him a friend. Doesn't mean you know everything about him. Okay. If you insist that I don't know him well, why don't you tell me about him? told you I do not want to talk about him. Why? 
There is nothing good to say about him. What else do you want me to say? <laughs> Listen. No matter how bitter Quenin is, people will not stop taking it because it is a better medicine for malaria. You know, I have never been the kind of man that believes in all these village inclinations and tradition or whatever. But with the attitude Paul just pulled today, I am forced to believe that that guy has his village people on him. Paul, Paul doesn't know what he's doing to himself. Until he clocks 50, reality will dawn on him. By then, he will start hurrying to marry. He will then rush into a hurried marriage. Then make a mistake that he might live a lifetime to start trying to patch up. Exactly. Huh? He does not know that this is the right time to get married. Not when he's 60, his children will be calling him Grandpa, Grandpa. Ah! <laughs> and it's, it's not a laughing matter, it's very annoying. It's no. annoying. <laughs> Please. I don't think it will get to that. It will get to that, okay? <laughs> That's the your... grandpa thing just <laughs> put me off. Well, it will not get to that point. That's the route he's taking now. Is it not the route he's taking? We're well, trying to help him yet. He can't even help himself. See, See, if nothing serious is done to stop him, he will ruin his life. Well, I am just a friend. The only thing I can do is support, cancel, and try to advise as much as I can. <laughs> And then hoping that one day he's going to get back to his senses and turn a new leaf. That is the worst I can do. I pray so. I pray. Because it's only God that can help that man. It's only God. Sweetheart, it's okay. I rely on Marianne to a beautiful wife. I don't expect him. <laughs> a kid. <laughs> All I'm begging you is to let me to try again, please. My journey of love with Paul was filled with torment, agony. That is why I want to share that pain with you. If you insist, I'll tell you one percent of everything that happened. Please do. I really want to hear everything from you. Paul came into my company as an auditor. I mean, he came with his own auditing firm. Oh. To audit our company's account. Oh, that was before he was transferred to our company. Yes. Okay. We had beautiful moments when we met at first. It was rosy. I loved him with everything in me. 
And then one thing led to another. He asked that I move into his house, which I did. The moment I got into his place, everything changed. Paul became a beast overnight. And I was ready to tackle me at every provocative word I say to him. He beats you. Oh, no, no. Paul is not a woman beater. And that was something I really appreciated. But the way words he used on me, I mean, I would prefer someone hitting me than saying those things to me. He used to bully you with his words. Enjoy the food. Of course, you know, I always enjoy your meat. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kinsley. Paul, you, you didn't tell me you were coming. Yeah, um, it's deliberate. I decided to make this visit unannounced because I, I, you know, All right then, what brings you? I'm here to apologize to you. The way I spoke to you earlier today, it wasn't nice. I'm sorry. Paul, it's okay. No offense taken. It's all right. He didn't do anything. Yes, he did. It's time to call a spade a spade. She's about, I thought I've told you to stay out of this. Sure I will. Well, you have to tell him that he's not getting any younger. And he won't remain handsome forever. Hey. What was the meaning of that? You know, in as much as I do not support her actions, I must say that you deserve a bit of that. It's fine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I overreacted. I'm sorry. So, why were you that? Upset. Oh, that. Um, Kisley, twice I have been fortunate to, to run into Chine. And each time I try to talk to her, she won't even let me through. She won't, she won't let me get through to her. You know, and it just hurts because she keeps telling me that nothing can ever happen between the both of us again. Nothing. No chance whatsoever. You know, I don't know. It happened again today and all of that just... I'm sorry, man. I am trying so hard to understand why you are staring at me. Something tells me that your days are numbered. And you really need to be careful. What is the meaning of that? No, what do you mean by my, my, my days are numbered? Numbered by who? There is a friend of Chine named Enki. Listen to me, Darlington. I can't remember telling you that I have any interest in Chine's friend. I am only dating Chine and I am cool with that. If you could only... Calm down. And listen. 
and not interrupt me like a drunken sailor. It would be nice. So what is it? NK on our way to the house today. Saw you along the road with a big frolicking. Are you serious? Who told you this? Enke is my friend. She told me. And I know by now she must have told Chinayo of what she saw. Uh, this is why I said you need to be careful. No, 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 no. This information is very dangerous. This information is not for me. Oh. I have already set up a wonderful business with Chinayo and I don't want anything to destroy it. Business? What business did you set up with her? High tech concern. Is it your business? Performer. You know, it still baffles me that you want this girl back in your life after all the things you did to her. Yeah. Because she's the only one that I have truly loved. With all, with all of my heart, without reservations. So if that is the case, why then did you treat her the way you did? I don't know. I, I have had to think about this over and over again. I don't know what came over me, really. Well, I guess we should blame the devil then. <laughs> That's everyone's easy way out when they do stuff that they are not proud of. But as for me, I'll take responsibility. What I did to Naye was not good. How I treated her was, was terrible. And I take responsibility. I, I'm, I'm ashamed of my actions. That's the truth. All right then. I think this is the first step of being a man. So tell me, my friend, how do you intend going about it? I wish I knew. Don't you know any of her friends? Oh, there is, um, there's Clarion. She has a lot of respect for her. Clarion also happens to be a mutual friend, so. You know. Okay, okay. Why don't you walk your way back into her life through Clarion? Been trying. It's been hard. You know, I know that she loves you. And I also know she will come back to you. But it didn't be on the platter of gold. But what? Can you please explain what you mean? Paul, the bitter taste she got from you during her time with you is still on her tongue. Like a wound. And trust me, it will take time for it to heal. I know. It's just that it's taking too long. It's either taking too long or I'm just in a hurry because I miss her and I want her back in my life. <sighs> Unfortunately, I have to tell you that it's to take longer. So my friend, you have to just be patient. Be patient. She will come around eventually. I agree with you. Just that I need all the help that I can get to win her back. Well, that wouldn't be a problem. On my own path, I will try as much as possible to talk with her. Thank you. And I appreciate it. It's okay, bro. Anything for you. Thank you. <laughs> 
כזה ולא רציתי. היי! איך אתה? איך אתה? How was good today? That was good. Uncle Paul, mommy told us a bit said in the afternoon, but when we got home, we didn't see you. Oh yes, I was here, but something came up at work, so I had to rush back to the office. But I'm here now. So Uncle Paul, when when are you getting married? What do you know about marriage? Yes, because I can't wait to attend your wedding. What is wedding? Look at these children. Don't mind them. Okay, please, please, please. It's time for you to go to bed, okay? Okay? Uh, Mama, I want to stay with Uncle Paul. Really? Well, I don't have a problem with that. Just that tomorrow is school. Or have you forgotten? Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And early to bed, early to rise, mm -hmm. makes a man healthy and wise. Uh, mm -hmm. So you have to go. Yeah, come on. But I'll be here weekend, so we can play Ludo. Okay? Uh, we can sit around. Bye. All right. Put it in. Bye. Good night. Uh, all right. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs> See, okay, I'm getting very inquisitive. <laughs> I'm telling uh, you. I actually stayed up so we can have dinner. I'm in luck. How did you know? <laughs> I am hungry. Mm. Life of a bachelor. Yeah. What did you make? Let's move to the dining room. And salad. Oh, 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 eh? Oh, 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 oh. And pounder. What a day it has been. Lord, how to I had a very long talk with Chinaya today. And what did she tell you about me? <laughs> she said you tormented her soul when she was with you. She said you know how to torment and destroy someone verbally. Uh, that may have been the truth. I... But I'm better now. Uh, I know better now. I'm a better man. I have grown. Okay. The point is, hmm? whatever transpired between you two is coming out piece by piece. Why don't you just cool down and tell me the whole story so at least I'll know what I am dealing with here. The entire story. <laughs> That's a lot, huh? A lot happened, actually. <laughs> Thank God I have all the time to listen to you. Both of us are mobile. You can mm. leave any time you like. I might not be able to remember all that happened, because it's been a while, but... I know that some of the scenes were quite ugly. But I remember clearly what made her leave my house? Okay. I'm all ears. Hey, pumpkin. Uh -huh. See who's here. Mm. How are you? Well, I wasn't fine, but now that you're here, not only have you distracted me, <laughs> but I'm also very fine. Goodness me, look at that skin. Maybe let's just go home now. No, please. Oh, let's go home. No, please. no, no. See where you're sitting now. <laughs> just me some Stop it. <laughs> How are you, baby? Well, I'm doing great. I'm doing just fine. Okay. So what's up? Um, I just closed from work. Mm -hmm. So I will be at the VIP section by 4 p.m. waiting for you. Sounds good to me. Um, how many of our friends are coming with you? None. Oh, why? It's just you and I. Just you. Just you and I? Mm-hmm. Is that what you want? <laughs> that is what I want, Sam. Look. <laughs> Looks like there'll be free benefits tonight. Don't do that. Stop no, I'm not it. doing anything. Stop I'm just it. having ideas. Uh, goddamn. <laughs> Let's, can we just go home first? We're not we going get... home. I'm going home to get dressed. I'll be waiting for you at the VIP section by four. I want that quality time just with you and wear, you alone. Wear something hot. Wear something that will give me an erection the moment I see you. Baby. Shut up. I can't help. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'll see you by four. See you at four, baby. Okay. I'll just round off here. Have a nice day. Yeah. No, 
have I a nice care. day. Nah, you see what you're doing. <laughs> you see what you're doing now. Nah, that's not fair, right? Bye. Bye. She gave me more than 10 missed calls, but I did not take her calls. I was busy. I was busy at the office. It was an excuse. Um, she would not take, I, I, I know. Yeah, I know I still regret my actions till today. Hi, sweetheart. Thank you, Bob. Thank you so much for ruining my day. Thank you. How could you? Please. You will have to forgive me. <laughs> You're right. Look, I'm telling you, it's been crazy for me. My head is full. I have so much I'm doing this period. What happened today was not deliberate. You've got to believe. Would you believe that the moment you stepped out of the office today, external editors and on scheduled visit they showed up from Abuja <laughs> nobody could leave the office nobody could make a call nothing 
and you know how they can be now they were there for quite a while and by the time i came out you know i started it's just I'm, I'm sorry there is always an excuse every occasion my birthday my mother's birthday everything you have an excuse paul what has your mother's birthday why didn't you at least call me or even send a message to at least let me know what is going on but i'm not your mother's husband now you bring your mother into this it's not my responsibility to call her but look talking about you i called i'm telling you if you're going to call one of these mobile Networks. They'll tell you, I called, but it wasn't going through. It says the number you're telling. The person you're calling is out of network coverage area. So I probably thought that you were hanging out with friends, and by the time you come back to town, I'll call again. And I just sat down here. I don't know what happened, and I just dozed off. It was you just coming in now that sort of jolted me back to life. I'm sorry, baby. I'm, I'm really sorry. Forgive me now. Uh, you know what? There is absolutely no need for the apologies. The deed is done already. It's just, it's just Thank you. Baby. But it's not that day, is it? But it's just an ordinary birthday. Now we can we have more great moments to, to, to celebrate. Eh? Sweetheart. Please. I'm not in the mood for this tonight. Come on now, don't tell me you're still angry about the birthday thing. I'm sorry. I shouldn't tell you I'm still angry. No, no, no. no why, why, why shouldn't I be angry? You practically ruined my day today. I was supposed to spend quality time with you, but no, you wouldn't take my calls or even call me back. But I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't... Please, just allow me. Sweetheart, I'm sorry. Hmm. Please, I'm sorry. Sorry. No, you think sorry solves everything. Paul, you do this all the time and then you end up saying sorry and expect me to be fine. All this time it's a no-no. Please get your hands off me. I'm going to make it up to you. Just please, let's allow this one slide, please. I'll make it up to you. Please. No, don't worry, just leave that to me, baby. I'll make it up to you, I promise you. Please. That's fine. Still, I'm not in the mood for anything tonight. Come just on. let me. No. Paul. Come on, don't say that. Can you just stop already, please? Why are you so quiet? Did somebody die? What is what is the problem? I missed my period. period of course which simply means that I am pregnant you 
you know what? I need you to say it one more time so that I am sure that you're not joking. What exactly do you want me to say, Paul? What do you want me to ask? What's wrong with you? You ask me what I want you to say. What do you want me to ask you? Why would you not let yourself get pregnant in the first place? Excuse me? <laughs> what is the meaning of this? What is the meaning of what? I'm asking you a simple question. Am I the first man you're having unprotected sex with? Oh yes! Are you not an adult? I'm asking you! Tina, are you not an adult? Why would you allow yourself to get pregnant in the first place? You know, I am still trying to fathom what you are saying. Again. What I am trying to say, madam, is that I'm not ready for a child right now. I'm not ready to be a father. Even at that, there are better ways to present it. How? Buy you ice cream before I present it to you? Madam, get rid of that thing. Get rid of that thing. I didn't ask you to get pregnant. Alright? I'm not the first man you've had unprotected sex with. I don't understand why you have sex with me and, and choose to get pregnant. I chose to get pregnant. Oh yes! Really? Oh yes! You're joking. I'm not joking. You are a joker, Paul. I'm not joking. Get rid of this thing. Madam, you, you are going to get rid of this thing. I'm, I'm not with you. I'm, I don't want a child. And that is it. Get out of my face, my friend. Look, look, get rid of that thing. Get rid of that thing. Get rid of that thing. Your mate would have sex and take care of it. Do the right thing. You have sex, you, you, you left the spam there. Madam, please, I didn't meet you a virgin. So you've been having sex. Eh? Before you and I met. Hmm? And you didn't get pregnant for those men. Now, you met me, had sex with me, I enjoyed it, you enjoyed it, and instead of you to do the right thing, you know, like your fellow women, no, you did not do that. What you chose to do was to keep the spam. And you come here, tell me you're pregnant. What do you want me to do? To go and see your father this afternoon? Come on, now behave yourself. They don't do things like that. Get rid of this thing. Let life move on. Stop it. Pregnancy has been terminated. Good girl. Is that all you have to say? Is that the only thing you are going to say to me after going through abortion pains? What exactly do you want me to say to you? Tell me, what do you want me to say to you? Clap for you? Or for your own mistake? You did this to yourself, madam. What exactly is your problem? 
Why are you so inconsiderate and selfish? Uh, far from it, don't stop it. You're the one who's been selfish. Right? You're the one who chose to get pregnant, thinking that I will get with the program. It doesn't work that way. All right? You've been having sex. Before you and I met, you never got pregnant. You got to my turn. You refused to do what a mature woman would do. You've got to admit that you got yourself in this mess. And make me look bad. Come on now, stop it. It's not right. Huh? This is your mistake, not our mistake. Repeatedly said to some sense. Blaming me and saying it's my fault. Yes, no, it's not nonsense. No, but now I want to know how this is my fault. This is your fault. Did I get myself pregnant? Yes. Because you had sex. And you didn't do the right thing. When people have sex, they know what to do, just like you've been doing with other guys. You've been having sex now. For years, oh. For years before you met me. How come you didn't? What? Those guys don't have sperm cells? What? They don't ejaculate? They don't come when you guys make out? Come on now. Get real. Huh? I'm street. You're street. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You don't come hang this on my neck and expect me to play. And when I don't play, I become the bad guy. Please, this one is on you. You had sex. You're supposed to take something, you know, get rid of it, so that we continue to play. I refuse to do that. Now I want to put it on. Stop now. I blame you, Paul. I blame myself. I blame the times I deceived and told myself that you are a good man, even with all your excesses. I blame the times I opened my legs to you, Paul. But you know what? I wouldn't shed a tear for you. Because you're a bastard. This is fun, yeah. Just wait it on, please. No, I... I'd rather we talk now. Hmm. 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 Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. Since the time you had that abortion, I have been feeling pains around my abdomen. Sorry about that. We're going to see the doctor tomorrow. Okay. Mm. So I can sleep now, right? Thank you very much. Good night. Can you just tell us what, what, what is the situation? Just... I'm going to guess. Madam, 
your permission is needed to speak on the scan result. It's okay, you can go ahead, doctor. He's um he's my boyfriend. Alright. With all due respect, madam, you had an abortion. And from my findings, it's not the first nor the second abortion you are having. Um that's true, Doctor. It's um it's actually the fourth. Uh, doctor, yes, it's that way because you see, we at the time were looking at, you it's know. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, Mr. Paul. Thank I understand. You. Just that the scan results shows that if you do not start considering now, in a few years' time, you may likely not be able to consider anymore. What? Yeah. This job because. The abortion you had has have damaged so many parts of your womb. So that is not the end of the world. Like I said, you can still breast children. But but only if you deem it fit to conceive. I mean to start conceiving. So um what do you think? I can't think of anything right now. My head is really full. Well, I, I have a suggestion. Okay, let's hear it. Since we're already talking marriage, why don't we just fast track it before... I mean, people get to know the problem with my own. Uh, uh, please. Uh, listen, right now I'm not, I'm not ready for marriage, okay? I'm not, I'm, I'm not in that space right now. I'm not. Why, if I may ask? I am sure that you don't want the answers to that question. Of course I need an answer to that question. Listen, boy. You put me in this mess and we have to be at the together. Together. Are we together? Yes. You're beginning to sound uncivilized. You're in this alone. Take care of your mess. This place. Yes, I do. Wait until you see the bedroom. You love it even more. Oh, she? Oh, this is my kid sister. Actually, she's putting up with me for a while. She has issues with accommodation. Oh. But she's pretty cool. You won't have issues with her. Hi. Uh, she's been here for a bit, but she'll soon leave. Okay. Okay. Um, first things first. Let's have you settle in properly. Okay. okay. I'll just take you upstairs to your room. All right. Okay. All right. Just that's the staircase. Just Bye. quickly do the stairs. The stairs. The stairs. What? 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 Right. what? Oh, that's my new girlfriend. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> what is it? No. What's funny? What? She's not fine. You don't like her? No, this must this must be some sort of joke. No, it's not a joke. Now she's a fine girl. You can see she's fleshy. You know, I like them fleshy, and she's light skinned just like you. She's beautiful. Look at her. Did you see her nose? Straight. Paul. What? Please. Whatever it is you were doing, stop it. You are breaking my heart. How? We are supposed to see the man who's arranging our wedding. Mm -hmm. We are giving him a date next week. Thank God we have not seen him. Thank goodness. Because it would have been disastrous for you. Because there will be no wedding. Paul, Paul, please. Please. You, you 
can't do this. Why are you getting emotional? What is it? Okay, please, I, I need you to talk to me in a language I will understand. You're actually crying. It's not necessary. Look, I have talked about this before. You have a ruptured womb and, and I'm not going to live with it. It's, it's that simple. What do you want me to do? I need you to stop this joke oh, already. Come on. Paul, you, you, you need to stop this. This is, this is actually not funny. What you are doing right now is not funny. You have a ruptured womb. I am not going to live like that. What? You want me to live the rest of my life without my own seed? My, my own child? Come on now. Be logical. Stop being emotional. Don't touch me now. Don't do that. You can't do this to me. Whatever happened to me today is as a result the abortion I had. You cannot tell me that you are not going to marry me and you're bringing in another lady. Paul, you need to stop this right now. You actually... Don't stop. Don't touch me. Don't, I, I don't see why you want to touch me. And very importantly, you need to get your things together at your earliest convenience and leave this house. That's my new girlfriend. We're going to be having sex. Well, that is a joke. And when we're having you sex, would... I don't need you listening. Oh, you would not do this. I'm going to do it. You would not do but this, Paul. I would have, have you do this, this to me. But, but listen, listen. You won't do this to what, me. What is this? You would not Move. do this to me, Paul. Paul. Paul, stop this. I, you, 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 you won't do this to me. How, how can you? Paul, Paul, listen to me. Paul. I'm going to smack you. You will not do this to me. Smack you. Paul, you will not do this to me. You will not do this to me. Paul. 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 We, we need to talk about this. You cannot. Paul. If you stand in my way again, I will smash your head against that wall. Don't try me. Get your things together and leave my house. Because I'm going to be having sex in this house, I'm trying to get that girl pregnant. I need my own child. God, Paul, you went too far. My God. Yeah. I made a terrible mistake with Ginny the first time, but I, I know better now, and I promise not to do that again. The truth is, because of what she went through, she's going to play hard to get, but. If you exercise a bit of patience, you will get her back. How? <laughs> From where? Like, you saw her. You saw how she was. From where? Okay. You have to start from somewhere. Okay. What? Start by going to her house. I mean, just pay her a visit. That one too is a problem. I, I don't know where she, she, she stays. I don't know where she lives. You know, that's the reason I had come to see you earlier to get that information from you. And then I ran into her and then you saw how that played out. Okay, so that will not be a problem. I will give you her address, but I have to tell her first. Oh, come on, Clara, no. You know she will not agree. <laughs> I know, but I will talk to her. What are you doing? Of course you know she will not agree. Please. Just hand me the address and let me go see it. Don't I hey, know, but I will talk to her. Are you sure? Please, I know that some of these revelations are quite disturbing and disappointing. But I beg you, please continue to help me talk to her. Let her know that I'm a changed man. 
I lost her one time. I don't want to lose her again. Oh, we are in this together. You have nothing to worry about. Thank you. Thank you always, Claro. Thank you. you. You always show up for me. Mm. You always do. <laughs> Thank you. And thanks for the food. Mm. <laughs> thanks for the food. Came in here like a hungry lion. Uh, but I have to go. Kiss the kids for me. I know what it is. I know what it is. That is the financial um, audit. Exactly. So what is this still doing here? It's there with you because of the mistake on that financial statement. What? Oh. So why am I just hearing about it? That's because the corporate, Chima, happens to be the MD's younger brother. And the MD does not want anyone around here seeing that error so he brought it to you and I so that we can clean this mess as usual. Please, what mistake did he make? He forgot to add, uh, <laughs> the young man forgot to add the subsidiaries of ABC Holding to that financial breakdown. <laughs> Why would he make such a mistake? It's simple. He's not a chartered accountant yet, so... He thinks because he made first class in accounting, he can handle the work of certified accountants. Eh? These errors will continue until he decides to go by time. <laughs> if that man continues like this, he's going to run this company down. True. I agree with you. But the MD does not see it that way. He keeps insisting that you and I keeps helping the younger brother to, you know, get along since he has the prerequisite knowledge of, of what is required to, to head the accounting department of this company. It doesn't make sense to me. What that young man needs is for him to just go and write I can. It does not make sense one bit. That's all. Ah. All I'm begging you is to let me to try again. Then I will write up my own Baby, I'm a change man now All I need I'm on my baby I'm on my sugar pie God I'm on Get me with you, girl I'm really sorry, my love eh? I'm sorry So did she give you the money? Yes, I see I, I, I don't see what I'm holding my hand. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> you? Hey! <sighs> hey! Hey! Like this, now that lived in a better office. And you need to continue to milk her. <laughs> you see that lady? Your mugu. <laughs> so you, you are still talking as if you don't know what I can do. So now, um, <coughs> hey. uh, my love, eh? how much is my share? Eh? My share. Uh, no, now, my love, uh, listen, this time around, we are not going to share anything. That's eh? why. See, I don't like the way we are hanging around like birds. Eh? We need to get an apartment, even if it's a bed sitter or face me, even if it's bed, face me and face yourself. I don't care. Eh? We need to pay and, 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 and I'm packing. Oh, you do your head? Uh, yes. My mind no reach that side, self. Yes, because we are only good in doing makeup. Uh, you understand? Um, you understand? Uh, sorry. But before we think of going to pay for the rent, we need to go and sit down, relax, you know? Can I need to eat you down. I need to do Dorime on your head first. <laughs> then tomorrow we're gonna, we cannot contact the agent for any house. <laughs> you understand? Know, we need to be going by the <laughs> You see that woman? Now, nah, pure Mugu. 
<laughs> you need to see what that. that. That is why <laughs> I tell you that I know the exact button to press. I love you, baby. At <laughs> any given time to get any rich woman of my choice. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm begging you is to let me to try again Please, if you let me, then I will write up my What's the problem? You won't believe it, girl. What again? He is cheating on me. Which of them? I don't get you. What kind of question is that? Did I just hear you say which of them? Of course, because <laughs> apparently there are two men in your life. Yeah. <laughs> who and who, if I may ask? Paul and Oforma, of course. Could you just stop this already? I have nothing going on with Paul. <sighs> okay, so then you're speaking about Oforma, right? Yes. Oh! Yes! Finally. <laughs> finally, finally. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> She got to see what Uzoma and I have been trying to tell her all along, but she wouldn't listen. It was about time you see the conny person he is. Can you just stop this and please? Mm. Yeah. I'm just happy you finally realized. But wait a minute. What is it with me? What do they really want? Their wants are always in satire. Why? Well, I disagree with you because I honestly believe we still have some faithful men out there. They are just hard to come by. Anyway, how did you actually find out he was cheating? You got him. That is a story for another day. Very well then, if you say so. I have business to attend to and I'm so glad. <laughs> what a great day it is for you to realize what a monster you've been dealing with. <laughs> I'm just happy you got to found out. Come on here, Dolly. Mm. I love you too. Mm. Ah. Thank you, Lord. She found out. She found out. <laughs> just lock up the door. Completed feelings from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. And the promise to never to break your heart. Oh, yeah. So, this. Aside from this. I still have a bungalow down there, which is also for sale. That is in case you're interested. Um, I think we'll have to start with this first, okay? Oh, My okay. boss will like this one. Oh, mm. it's all right. No problem then. It's okay. In that case, you have to come by the office tomorrow. If he turns out to like it, we do all the necessary transactions. And then the property is yours. Sure. I'll be at the office tomorrow, okay? Oh. Yes. 
Excuse me, sorry. Uh, hello, dear. Please go right now. Why? Oh, my beans, oh, my beans. Dear, it, it hasn't gotten to that, right? Just shut up and call my beans. Ah, ah. Okay, sweetheart, just calm down. I'm, I'm on my way. Tomorrow in the office, I'll see you. Okay, I'll see you by tomorrow, yeah, okay? Tomorrow, tomorrow. It's a modest place. Come on now. Don't, 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 come on. Don't do that. No, come on now. Don't it's try. It's don't so try to now. be all nice with me. This is nice. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Sarah, can Please, uh, make yourself comfortable. All right? Thank you. Yeah, I should get you a drink. What? Uh, are you up for water spirits? Soft? What, what do you no, want? No, no, it's fine. I can't do drinks anymore. I mean, we're just coming from the bar. Oh, that's drink for the bar now. This is my house now. Let's. Spirits. Um, okay. I know the spirits. No, 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 no. I would, um, I think I'll have something to eat instead. I'm hungry. <laughs> you don't look hungry. I am hungry. I'm serious. Are you serious? Are you sure you have anything in the house? I don't at the moment, but I can, I can whip something up, I tell you. I'm a master chef. You cook? Ask questions, baby. You're sure you're hungry? <laughs> Very hungry. I got you covered. Wait for it. 
Mm. <laughs> okay. This one is definitely a different breed. <laughs> you like the food, eh? What did you say like? <laughs> mm, amazing. <laughs> so nice. So tell me, how did you learn to cook? My dad taught me how to cook. <laughs> Wait a minute, you mean your dad cooks? Yeah, he was a great cook. He was? Yeah, unfortunately he died. Um, couple of years ago. So this is my story. My mother died pretty early and so my father was saddled with the responsibility of taking care of all of us. You see? So we as the kids around the house had no choice but to help daddy out once in a while in the kitchen. You know, so I picked a few things up, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm truly sorry. It's fine. Come on now. Hey, it's a day to be happy and not a day of sadness. <laughs> It's okay, <clears throat> but the food is really, really nice. I'm glad you love it. I told you I was going to make you something really nice. And you did. Yeah, I did. <laughs> huh? Okay. So, are we toast? Yeah. To? To what would be the beginning of a great friendship. To good health. Mm -hmm. More life. More money. <laughs> money, eh? <laughs> I love money. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a good thing, yeah. Yes, more, of course. More money. Is. More money. And to a great life experience with you. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Damn, you're beautiful. I had to just sneak that right <laughs> in. Thank you. Ah, good choice. I like it. I do, too. Mm. Come on, you sure you don't want to eat from it? No, I'm, I'm okay, I'm okay. I made the, the meal, so you know, all of that sort of got into me. I know, it happens you know to me it too. When you cook. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Come on, I get up. Uh, you need to have your bath and, you know, get ready. Mm -mm. There is no need for that, because even if I shower, there is nothing to change into. Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, so what are you going to do? I'm just going to shower when I get home and change into something else. Oh, Will you just wake up? <laughs> See your mouth. Wake up. <laughs> All right, I'll just get ready for work and then drop you, drop you off on my way to work. Okay. I'll catch some sleep for you too. Get up. <laughs> Come on, get up. Get up and get ready.
me a second chance for you. It's a second chance. All I'm begging you. I thought he was a perfect gentleman by all standards. Not knowing he was worse than I thought. Oh God. I'm so confused. What do I do? Do I give him a second chance? Never. I wouldn't. But Ofoma is messing around. And looking at him, he is not even ready to embrace the future. What do I do? I'm a jack in the past and I know it. Forgive me for I'm back on my knees and I'm begging. Please don't turn your face away from me. Please allow me to amend all my mistakes. Hey, I know I treat you bad. I know I made you cry. I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Now a proud father. While I am yet to even get a serious girl. Not to talk of getting married and producing children. I am still jumping from one girl to another. What is wrong with me? Why is it that I cannot even stay with any girl? Without finding one fault or the other, what is wrong with me? What is it? She found out about us. How? But you promised me she's never going to find out about us. Yes. But the same she followed me the day she gave me that money. Hey. For my, you fuck up now. Nah. Now you fuck up. Why would you say things like that? Because you told me she is never going to find out about us. Yes, I did. But I never knew she was going to find out. You're not going to exonerate yourself from this. Well, I accept. It's my fault. So, what next? You have to go back and beg her. What do you say? You yes! Because that lady is the source of our livelihood. We cannot afford to lose her. Yes. Amana, I can easily get another woman. Yes. No. A bed at hand is better than millions of beds in the bush. You have to go back and beg her. 
I should go back and beg her. What kind of girl is this? Eh? Never ready to accept no as an answer. I'm gonna... Are you sure you don't want me to offer you anything? Lady Clarion, I said I'm okay. I have red wine. Yeah. I have juice. Mm. I have spirits. Just make your choice. Now you're beginning to sound like I'm a stranger in this house. <laughs> you know if there is anything I want, I would not hesitate to walk into that kitchen and take it. <laughs> uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> so, have you spoken to Paul? Not yet. You're dragging this thing too far. Honestly. I know it's hard to believe, but Paul is a changed man. And this time around, he's not even coming for a relationship. He wants to make you his wife. Lady Clarion, I don't know what it is, but... I don't know, I'm really finding it difficult to go back to him. I get you, but... Give it a try. You won't regret it, trust me. Okay, <laughs> I will think about it. <sighs> this is the best thing I've heard today, uh -huh. honestly. <laughs> <laughs> no, what is good about what I just said now? Everything, and it calls for celebration. Yeah, auntie, mm -hmm. what are we celebrating? We are celebrating, navigating towards a very successful and lovely reunion. <laughs> <laughs> and you see that drink? You will drink it today. Hey. Instead. <laughs> if, if, if you don't drink it, okay. I will force you. But please, I don't do cheap wine, so whatever it is. back on my knees and I'm begging. Please don't turn your face away from me. Please allow me to amend all my mistakes. My friend, come in. You're welcome. Congratulations, my dear friend. Thank you, Jerry. Look, I miss you. <laughs> you look good. Thank you. Wow. <sighs> hmm. I'm so sorry I did not tell you about it's it. It's okay. I saw the post on your husband's Instagram page and I was like, wow. Really? <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, hmm. Finally, my friend is now a mother. We trust in hmm. God, though. I can't thank God enough. Honestly. <sighs> Hmm. My dear, I just wish God would do for me exactly as he has done for he you. He will surely do it for you. Just be prayerful. He will. <sighs> I just hope so. Amen. Oh, amen. Where is the baby now? <laughs> He's inside. He's asleep. Can I see him? Why not? Can Let's go at once. <laughs> Look at I'm you. Afraid. I'm so happy. Look at you. You're so good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My knees and I'm begging Please don't turn your face away from me Please allow me to mend all my mistakes I know I treat you bad I know I made you cry I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said Now I am down on my knees Begging you to give What are you doing here? Good afternoon I said what are you doing here? I just greeted you it's not by force to respond to your greeting. Okay. I asked again, what are you doing in this house? Okay. I am here to see Jenny. She is here. Why do you want to see her? It's none of your business. I see. It's none of my business. I have never seen an irresponsible man like you. After cheating on my friend. You came here looking for her. Are you that shameless? Uh, listen. Whatever that has happened between Jinny and I is none of your business. So stay out of it. Are you not stupid? You want me to stay out of whatever that has happened between my friend 
And you? Yes. Yet you stand before me asking me her whereabouts. Yes. I am asking you her whereabouts because you live here with her. I can see you are mannerless. No. <laughs> He is there talking rubbish. Nonsense. Shameless fool. Come here again, let me see. Like I said, I need to rush back to the office, okay? I need to attend to something. Mm -hmm. but, I'll, but I'll see you guys in an hour's time, okay? okay. Right. Mommy, hold on. What is it? Mommy, when is Uncle Paul getting married? Yes, that's <laughs> true. You asked him that question the other day. What did he say to you? Mm, he didn't go straight to the question I asked him. <laughs> Listen, I am not Uncle Paul. So, I can't tell you when he's getting married. Hmm? Okay, Mom. But why are you so inquisitive? I mean, why is it so important for you to know when he's getting married? Because I can't wait to attend his wedding. Me too. <laughs> if that is the only problem, then you don't have anything to worry about because Uncle Paul will be getting married very soon. And you people will attend the wedding with me. How soon, okay. Mom? Ah, please don't ask me. It's enough. Oh, enough of the question. Yes, yes, um, yes, yes. I'll see Mama. you. Mommy, one more thing. What's that? Food. There's food in the fridge. Okay, mommy. Yes. <laughs> you, you, food, but, you that like food more than me. <laughs> Before I'm back on my knees and I'm begging, please don't turn your face away from me. Please allow me to. Sure. Mm. That guy was here. Who? Nene, how many guys do you have? None. Exactly why I asked. Who? A farmer was here. What? Wait a minute. You mean a farmer had the courts to come to my house? He should count himself lucky that I did not get to meet him. I would have given him the worst embarrassment of his life. What nonsense! Wow! Wow! I am so glad you finally decided to put him where he belongs. I never thought this day would come. Really? <laughs> anyway, he said he cared to see. Anyway, that's by the way. You're quite early from work today. What happened? We went for field work. Oh. And then I went to see Lady Clarion afterwards. Oh well. Oh. Okay. Mm, where are you off to? I have a supply to make. Yes. Chief is calling. But I thought you said you no longer work with him. Yes. That is why I am surprised to see him calling me right now. Sure. Hello, Chief. Okay, sir. So outside our gate. I'll be right there, sir. Okay, sir. Babes. Let me quickly see him. I'll be right back.
Good afternoon, Chief. Good afternoon, beautiful Uso, man. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Just that I feel you have forgotten me. Says the one who called me and demanded to see me, and I responded almost immediately. How can I possibly forget an elegant woman like you? <laughs> no, how is that possible? It's fine, Chief. Um, Chief, I actually called you because uh, I needed to meet someone. Who? My friend. Her name is Chinaye. She's exactly the kind of woman you would like. <laughs> I like the way you say this. Yeah, I mean, there must be something about this, your friend, that is compelling you to present her to me. What is it? Chief, she's going through a lot right now. And I know a relationship with a man like you will go along way. Wow. So where is this your friend? She's around. But now that you are interested in meeting her, Allow me to finish the job and call you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I like this. <laughs> I know you will like this. <laughs> you see, El, if I'm going to do this, I'm doing it because of you. Because of old times. Sir. But, um, but I, I, I am not going to say anything until I've set my eyes on this friend of yours. See if you will like her. Really? You will like her. Are you going to make it possible? <laughs> you will like her. <laughs> it's fine. Who is Chief? A friend of hers. An old friend, actually. What kind of friend? <laughs> Come on, Enye. He knows Oma is in the better position to answer that question. Enke, there is a lot you are hiding from me. There is nothing I am hiding. No. I mean, I can see it from your body language. You are hiding a lot from me. Why will you use a seen a married man? Nene. Ah. Why are you concluding? You're jumping into conclusions and that's not correct. Oh. Speaking of which, she's calling. You don't need my permission to take her calls, do you? Well right then. Yeah. I should come to the gate. Okay, I'm coming. What is going on? I'll be right back. What is going on? I'll be right I'm back. back on my knees and I'm begging. Please don't turn your face away from me. Please allow me to. Hey. Where is Chief? He's gone. What do you mean, gone? Babe, he's gone. So what then did he come for? <laughs> Babe, you won't believe it. Tell me. Chief said he likes Chinayen. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. He did? He did. But why would he make such a demand? I don't know. I even tried discouraging him by letting him know that Chinye is into a serious relationship. Right. But he wouldn't listen. Yes. Instead, he said that I must be the one to convince Chinye into accepting him. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I don't know. He's really serious. I don't know. <laughs> you and I know Chinye will never agree to this. Babe, I know. So what would you do? That's why I called you. What do you mean that's why you called me? What can I possibly do? It's not like the decision is up to me. Well, you know what I think? Okay. I think you should tell her. Yeah. No, no. That will, that's, that's, that will paint me black. You and I know how she hates 
having affairs with married men. You know that already. I so do. So how do I now come up with this? You, you see, I know. But then again, don't you think you complicate things if you don't let her know what's on ground? She deserves to know. At least she can make the choice from there. Yes, you are right. Exactly. You are right. I pray I will have the nerves to tell her. <laughs> you will have to work around it somehow. Mm. You can. I will try. I just pray I will have the nerves to say that to her. Try. We can know what to do. You do? Yes. Okay. I will just tell her without letting her know that she is married. Oh. Simple. That, that is the only thing I can do. I'm not in support though. Oh, Just in case she ever finds out. You said I should tell her. Mm, NK was not aware. I wasn't aware he's You're married. Not, you are the one who encouraged No, no, no. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm trying. Uzoma, I can't believe you're saying this. What have I done? Huh? Our friend here needs to reinvent herself. Making that possible is what I am doing. Where have I gone wrong? Come on, Uzoma. I still cannot believe you of all people are saying this. You're pimping our friend to a man and we both know that is not a decent thing to do. Okay, girls, you all are talking about me. I am here. And that decision is left for me to make. Calm down. Really, Nene? Uh, uh huh. Nene. Mm -hmm. So you're just going to allow her pimp you off to a man like you're some runs girl? No, darling. See, if I meet this young man and I like him, I will date him. And I bet you, darling, you will like him when you see him. <laughs> now I'm convinced you can actually live in the same house with people without truly knowing who they are. Okay. You know who we are. Apparently I don't. Stop this. I'm only trying to move on. I mean, you never hear. Depression is real. This is my own little way of trying to fight it. So rest in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, my dear. Go, go, heaven. I can't believe you. So one okay. I'm on down. Rest in Jesus. I'm on down. Back on my knees and I'm begging. Please don't turn your face away from me. Please allow me to mend all my mistakes. Hey. Look, I have never been this embarrassed in my life before. You shouldn't bother yourself with what her friend has said to you. I don't understand. What, what do you mean? Osama, you have no business with her friend. You need to go back and beg Chine. You didn't just say that. I did. I'm not going back there. Of oh, former you will. Need I remind you that Chinenye is our office. We don't need to shut it down. What kind of person are you? <sighs> that question should not arise at the moment. Of course it should. And I need you to answer me right now. Well, if you want to know the kind of person I am, that is a discussion for another day. But the bottom line right here now is that you're going back there to beg Chinenye. Okay. Um, what if she, if she insists of not having anything to do with me again? Ofoma, there is no if at this point. You have to do everything within your power to get back her love and trust for you. I don't like the way you sound. Of course you won't like the way I'm sounding right now. But with time, you will understand why I am doing this for us. Amana, you are doing absolutely nothing for us. Hey, there are other rich ladies out there. It must not be a, a, a chinenye. You amaze me, your former. Look at the way you're sounding as if all the rich ladies in this town are at your beck and call. Amana, I know the exact button to touch at every given time to get a rich lady of my choice. That makes it simple, my love. Yes. Use that same button to get Chin in your back. Oh, 
right, Chief. Good evening, Chief. Good evening, beautiful ladies. How are you today? I hope we didn't keep you waiting. No, no, no. As you can see, I'm actually enjoying myself. Please, sit down. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Chief, this is my friend, Chinei. Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> Good afternoon, my dear. Beautiful angel. Uh, but I would actually prefer you refer to me as... Uh, Chief. Oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry, I mean Chief. <laughs> I can understand. But eventually you will get used to it. I am not very comfortable with that title of Sir. It is not our thing. I just want to be called Chief. You understand? <laughs> okay, Chief. Uzoma, I am happy. Very, very glad. You. you have done noble. And uh, before you get home today, trust me, uh, you will receive a message from me. Something really nice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, um, Chief, I don't know, I would like to ask for a favor. Go ahead, what favor? Please, take good care of my friend. You don't need to say that. Look at her, she's very beautiful. And she is my speck. So I will take absolute care of her. Okay. <laughs> so I will take my leave now. No problem. Like I said, before you get home, you will receive a message from me. Message of appreciation. Okay. Be good. Of course I will. Okay. All right, Chief. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Can I have a feel of your hand now? Oh, of course. You're going to be Shinya, right? Yes, Chief. I like you. <laughs> like I told your friend, you are my speck. <laughs> and you know, we are getting into a relationship. And I want us to understand ourselves from this very beginning. You're going to promise me here and now that you will be everything for me. And if you become everything for me, trust me, I will be everything for you. Okay, okay, Chief. You have your way with words. I like that smile. <laughs> I like You're so good with words, too. <laughs> Honestly, I still can't process the fact Chinenye is doing this. But you heard her reasons for doing what she's doing. Even at that, as far as I'm concerned, that's still not enough reason for her to be with a man old enough to be her father for goodness sake. My darling, it's her choice. And we have to respect that. Uzoma, I cannot afford to respect this particular choice of hers. There is everything wrong with it. What if Paul should find out? What? Is that how you say Paul? Of course. Say please, don't even go there. Don't even mention Paul's name into this. Because as far as I'm concerned, he is the reason why that girl is doing what she's doing today. Uzoma, please. We all are human for goodness sake. Mm. We all have shortcomings. Yes, fine. We all have shortcomings, but Paul's own shortcomings is way too bad. Trust me, you cannot continue to blame everything Chinenye is doing wrong on Paul. You can't. Then who do you want me to blame? Ah, so please, let's just talk about something else. I'm just too paranoid to talk about anything else. I can't. This is freaking me out. Okay, fine. Now, um, I understand you very well. I understand you are very concerned about our sister, our friend, Radha. But she's not a kid. And I know she is old enough to coordinate her affairs. So calm down. 
I just don't want to see her in another state of heartbreak. No, no, no. I really don't want to. Uh -uh. She wouldn't be that stupid to fall in love with a married man. <laughs> really? Uh-huh. It's not as if you actually told her the man in question is married. He did not. Yes, I know I didn't tell her. But I know our friend cannot be that stupid hmm. to fall in love with that man. Yes. Uzoma. Uh -huh. Uzoma. Uh -huh. why, why, why are you even working yourself up on this genius matter? Why wouldn't why I? You? She's my friend. She's our friend. But what is now choking you like? I pray too bad I know I made you cry. I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Now I am down on my knees. Begging you to give me a second chance for you. This is a second chance. All I'm begging you. So let me to try again Please If you let me Then I will write up my Baby I must change my now All I need is a second chance A second chance Dear customer The MTN number you have dialed Is currently switched off Please try again later Thank you In the past and I know it Forgive me for I'm back on my knees and I'm begging Dear customer, the MTN number you have dialed is currently switched off Please try again later, thank you I know I made you cry I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said Now I am down on my knees Begging you to give me a second chance Why on earth will her number be switched off? Each time a man I want to do something bad, she will switch off her phone. Today soon, I am waiting for you. I got a jam must come back. You will explain to me. been with that man since morning <laughs> no I didn't even spend up to 30 minutes there before heading to the office oh. okay I thought you say you on leave yes I am darling but I needed to clarify some things for them so tell me how did it go with the man <laughs> fine the man is willing to pay and I will make him pay. Mm. Babe, don't tell me this is all about money. Of course not. It's not all about money. So what then is it about? Payback. Darling, it's payback time. Any man I meet this period would definitely pay back for what Paul and her former did to me. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. My darling, you will be making a very big mistake if this is what you really want to do. There is no mistake in this. The man says he wants to pay. In fact, he has already started paying. Take a chill pill, girls. Wait, wait, wait. Let me get this. Nene, mm -hmm. what does that even mean? I seen he paid you enough money to suspend your decency? Shut up. Keep quiet. 
Why do you like using words that you cannot define comprehensively? What are you even talking about? What word am I using I cannot define? Did you just hear me say payback? Why are you still using the word decency? Please. Let him calm down. No, no, let me ask you. Hi. Now tell me, darling. What is so decent about what a foreman Paul did to me? Huh? Mm -mm. Forget about Enke. Come on. Give me the chest. <laughs> so tell me. Did you find the man's company worthy? Who no like a Who no like her? Just see, John. Too bad, I know baby cry. I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Now I am down on my knees, begging you to give me a second chance for you. This is a second chance. All I'm begging you is to let me to try again. Where are you going back? Good morning. I said, where are you coming from? The proper thing to do is at least respond to my greetings, not ask send me this question. There is nothing special about your greetings. Therefore, where are you coming from? Fine. I went to work. You said you went to work? Yes. And what kind of work is that? Before you met me, you know the kind of work that I do. So why act as if you don't know what I do for a living? Amara, but you promised me you were not going back to that kind of life again. Yes, but that was after you told me you were going to take care of my needs. I have been taking care of your needs. And I have not gone back to my usual way of life. But I decided to go back because you stopped taking care of my needs. A former will need money in this house. And I can't fold my arms and watch hunger deal with us. There is nothing else I can do, so I got to hustle. Amma, don't even justify your actions. You just cheated on me and I am expecting you to hide your face in shame. My love, I didn't cheat on you. Rather, I went for a business that would benefit what the voice? Too bad, I know baby cry. I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Now I am down on my knees, begging you to give me a second chance for you. The, the, the only girl I love. Oburu kumganye somebody that will benefit both of us. Hey. Why is she not picking her calls? Am I sure she's okay? Chief. I have been calling your number and you are not picking. Oh, I'm sorry, Chief. I um, I wasn't with my phone. You're not sounding okay. Is there a problem? Um, I'm I'm having malaria and typhoid. Since when? It started this morning. Have you taken any medication? Not yet, Chief, but I plan on going to the hospital. You know what? When you are through with the hospital, call me. Okay. Hey. Good 
Marion, how are you? I'm fine, what of you? I'm very good. Okay. I was at your office earlier, but you were not on seat. Oh yeah, it must have been when I stepped out to see a friend. But I wasn't gone for too long. I heard the MD is planning to transfer me to payroll department. Why? I don't know. I mean, no reasons at all. No, but you should be happy about it. Eh? That means less work, more pay. Of course I am happy. I mean, I can't <laughs> wait for it to happen. I need more time on my hands to do other things. Yeah. And speaking of other things to do, I don't know how far you've gone with um, Chinenye. Um, I have not heard from Chinenye since the last time we spoke. I'll give her two days. After two days and she doesn't get back to me, then I'll call her. Thank you for being so thoughtful. Why do you keep saying thank you? I mean, what are friends for? Yeah, but you know, I'm just bothering you with all of this. And... <laughs> thank you. <laughs> you. Um, one more thing. Okay. Please. Can you please, you know, give me Chinenya's home address so that I can go see her and talk with her? But you know she will not be happy seeing you at her place. I know, but that's the only way we can speed up this entire process. It's, it's, it's dragging a bit, you know. Unfortunately, I agree with you. No problem. I'll give it to you. Okay? Mm. <laughs> what can I do without you? Uh, thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, see you later. All right. I'll come to your office, please. All right. No, I treat you badly. No, I made you cry. I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Hold on, I'm coming. Mr. Man. M my love. What are you doing here? My baby. Listen, if you ever, ever in your life repeat that thing you said again, or if you see your baby outside, you won't know her. Why are you angry now? Why am I angry? Of oh, don't I have a reason to be angry? I'm asking you, don't I have a reason to be angry? Yes, you have every reason to be angry. And that is why I'm here, so that I can amend it. Oh, you want to make amend? Yes. Something you have broken already. It cannot be fixed. Uh, uh, my love, I was the one that broke it. Please allow me to fix it. And you think in this my life, as I find like this correct like this, I'll still give you another chance. Hmm. You this thing that looks like bombastic elements. Oh, I will give you another chance. Jesus. You are mad. That is very harsh. My friend, get her from here. Please now. That, that is very harsh on me. Just give me a second chance. I promise you I will never try it again. Listen, I am done and dusted with you. Hmm. Get out of this place right now. Please. Obi, please. This is my village people working against me. Because just... A former. Hmm? There is no second chance. I have told you. Get out of this place. Don't you ever come here to look for me again. Huh? Uh, please yeah, now. Ma. Obi. Hey. My love. Oh, my... oh, 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 oh. Who, who is your heart? Are you mad? Smelling of cupboard, cupboard. You don't use anything. You're, you're just smelling of camphor, camphor. Rubbish. Obi, Bigo, I even purchased a new perfume, please. Mami, I see Sosorobia, Sosorobia, I use perfume. Go and take a bath. Don't treat you badly. Just take a chance. I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Obi. Now I am down. Oh. What was I even thinking? Eh? What was I even thinking the day she accused me of cheating on her? I would have just relaxed. I would have just taken my time and give this girl a solid life. A concrete life that will even convince her make her love me more and more. We shouldn't have been here talking this now. We are will last time for that. My love. Jim, baby. Jim. Oh. I know I treat you bad. I know I made you cry. I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't tell. For two days now, your friend's number has not been connected. Why? She, she, she had an emergency. Yes, she traveled to the village immediately. Since when? For two days now. That 
that's exactly the same day her number stopped connecting. What a perfect coincidence. So, what's the emergency all about? Her mother is sick, to the point of death. So they called her to come and take care of her mother in the hospital. So she had to leave immediately. Why didn't she mention that to me? You know, had it been she told me about this, I would have sent one of my boys to take the mother to a specialist hospital. Chief, she, she's a very private person. She doesn't like disturbing people at no. all. No, Uzoma, this is not about disturbance. We are talking about a woman I have come to love with everything in me. I've already made up my mind that she's going to become my third, my third wife. What? Yeah, yes, I, 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 I have decided that I will make her my, my, my third wife. Do you have a problem with that? No, not at all. Good. Listen, eh? if you are able to establish contact with her, please ask her to call me immediately. No problem, I will do that. Good. Or, or, or better still, let her meet me here. Okay, sir. Excuse me, sir. Shouldn't have said Now I am down on my knees Begging you to give me She said that it is over between both of us And that she will never ever Have anything to do with me You know how women behave when they are angry So at this moment she is angry You will have to go back when her anger must have subsided. Amara, it seems you didn't hear me very well. Or you did not understand what I said. Chinenye said it is over between me and her. She cannot say a thing like that. So, how are we going to survive? Uh, you don't have to worry yourself. Like I said the other day. I will get another rich lady of my choice. Oh, for, my, for your mouth, everything they did very easy and simple. You need to maintain and keep the one you have before looking for another one. See, I beg. You go go back, go beg out. You need to go back and beg her. Ha, eh, nah. That means you're indirectly telling me to go back to the streets. You are very, very stupid by saying that. You are more stupid by destroying our means of survival. Wait, Amara. Did you just reply me in that manner? Didn't you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Amara, you slapped me. You slapped me first. Eh? Amara. Oh, Amara. Oh, Amara, oh, Amara. Oh, Amara, stop this. Oh, Amara. Oh, Amara. Oh, Amara. Let's go inside. Let's go inside. Oh, I treat you bad. I know I made you cry. I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Now I am down on my knees, begging you to give me a second chance. I didn't hear from you after our last conversation. Well, um, that is because I have a lot going on right now too many things in my head. But not to worry. I'll clear them up and then come up with a decision. Come on. You're keeping that young man waiting. Uh, he has to wait. Because whatever is happening now, he brought upon himself. Yeah. You know, I wish I had your kind of mind. I mean, you know how to punish someone. Uh. But I hope you know I wasn't like this before. That young man made me who I am today. <laughs> I know. But I also think he has learned his lesson. So just shit your sword. Hmm? Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. If I don't take Paul back into my life, will that make you angry? <laughs> no, never. Uh, no, 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 listen, don't get me wrong. Hmm? This has nothing to do with us or our friendship, okay? Taking him back or standing your ground of never having anything to do with him again in your life is entirely your decision. And whatever decision you come up with, 
I will respect it. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Lady Clarion. Uh, why did you even ask me that? Well, let's say that's a topic for another day. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have to get going. Okay? You know you're becoming very mysterious these days. Some days are like that, darling. <laughs> I should finish this up before I leave. I know. Uh uh. You should. Mm. <sighs> the wine is good. So, I'll see you. I know. When I see you. Yeah, but then. No, I treat too bad. No, I made you cry. I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Now I am down on my knees. Begging you to give me a second chance. Oh, hi, Mr. Paul. Hey, Anke, how are you? I'm well, thank you. It's been quite a while, you know. It's, yeah, I know, I know. Forgive me, my, my fault, but don't worry. Mm. I'll, I'll clean it up. Yeah, right. I'll clean it up. Yeah, right. Uh, how have you been? <laughs> well, I've been good, you know, coping with work and just pushing it gradually. Yeah, I know how that can be. Um, please be honest with me. Mm hmm is she around? <sighs> Unfortunately, she's not. She Chin stepped out a while ago. Oh, Chine. I know, right? I'm not in luck this time, huh? <laughs> well, <laughs> we can't completely say you're not in luck because she could be here any moment from now. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So she doesn't sleep out? She never sleeps out. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sounds good to me. I know, right? <laughs> Sounds good to me. Okay, I'll just, um, I'll just wait. Mm -hmm. You get tired of talking to me, you want to go back inside, I'll just I sit could in my never, car. I could never. I could never. I'm right here. Ooh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Cheerful you. So tell me, what's been going on with you? Mm. You don't want to know. I want to know. Hmm. <laughs> this country. Sometimes I feel like it's drying out my blood. Things are getting harder by the day. My goodness. We can all relate now, can't we? But we hope to fix this nation with the next election. Oh, I can't wait. Because huh? apparently it doesn't seem to be enough the fact you're working hard. Yeah. The next election, the coming election will be different. Oh, I, I pray. I'm positive. I so pray. Hello? Yeah, hi. My name is Kingsley. Kingsley? King... Um... I'm sorry, the name sounds very familiar, but I still can't place where I've met you before. Okay, I am Paul's friend, and I suppose we met at his house. Oh, 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 ah, Oga Kingsley. <laughs> this one you remembered me today. <laughs> Come on, what do they say? That if Mohammed refuses to go to the mountain, the mountain has no choice than to go to Mohammed. Are you now saying it's my fault? <laughs> no, 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 no. I haven't said that. Ah, you better not say it. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, are you free? I would have liked us to see and have a discussion. Okay, it's not a problem, but I, I, I hope there are no issues. No, no, no. No challenge. All is well. Okay, so where are you at the moment? Right now, behind um, High Court. Alright, that's actually on my way home, so um, I'll just um, stop by and see you before I go home. Okay, in that case, shall I wait for you here? Yes, please. Alright then, see you soon. All right, thank you. See you in a bit. Unlimited feelings from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. And the promise to never to break your heart. There is a promise from my heart. From the deepest part of my heart, I give you these words. To love and respect you with all of my life. It's gonna be so easy with the 
just take good feelings from me inside. Everything is gonna be alright. I've been really in love with. Ah, uh, Mr. Kingsley. Always look it so young and gracious. Oh. I can only give thanks. <laughs> Hi. I'm good. And how is the family? Well, the family is doing fine. And lest I forget, I'm a father now. <laughs> you are kidding me. Yes, I'm a father. Wow, that is good. <laughs> well, thank Congratulations. You. Thank you very and much. And please tell your wife I would definitely drop by to see our new baby. Of course, and she will be so excited to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> I sure will come. I will. All right. I wouldn't want to drag this conversation any further. Okay. I would love to hit the nail on the head. All right. Paul loves you. <sighs> yes, I, I know. I know he was a beast in the past. But he's changed now. I appeal to you to please shit your sword and just... Consider him for a second chance. Why yes. would I do that? Because you loved him once. And whatever you love will always find its way back to you. No matter the circumstance surrounding the separation. Listen, he has come back to his senses. He now understands his faults and is ready to make amends. I can beat my chest and guarantee that. Please just reconsider him. Please. It's all right, I am. Um, <clears throat> I'll think about it. All right then. I hope to hear from you soon. <laughs> all right. I am. Um, I have to get going now. It's all right, no problem. And I will tell my wife to expect your coming. <laughs> I would definitely drop by the house. It's not a problem. Okay. All right. All right, by then. the way, you look good. Thank you. Look you. <laughs> Telling your baby has brought you so much joy. Maximum joy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thanks. Bye. All right. Buddy. I'm begging you, sis. Please, please. From my, from my papa, we bomb me. To all the guys who are done dead for my life, no one don't beat me. Why you can't beat me? I am sorry, please. Eh? It will never happen again. Of course, it will never happen again because today is the last day. This relationship, I am ending it. Hey. I am done. My love, it hasn't gotten to this now. Please. Eh? For raising your hands. On me, it has. Hey! Orola, look at the way you are. Am I having your punch bag? I'm sorry, eh, my love. We have come a long way. We can't just end it like this now. Because, please. Ofoma, what were you even thinking when you beat me up? Hey. Nature, what were you thinking? I'm sorry. Like I said, it would Ofoma, never happen again. I am done with this relationship. Eh? There is no next time. Please, huh? hey, my love, my love, please, where are, you, my love? where are you going now, where are you going, please. From the day you raised your hand on me, I owe you no explanation. Hey, Obi, my love, because, hey, my love, my love, please, are you leaving me? Hey, what, hey, what, what am I going to do? Hey, oh, oh God, what, what is this now? What, yeah. my, my love, hey, oh, my only hope. Hey, hey. Oh my God, my love, please. My love. Obi. My love is out. My love is finished. You look good. I try. 
it's been crazy, really. I, I know, but things <gasps> will get better, I promise you. I can't wait. <laughs> I just... Speaking of which, she's here. Ah. I told you. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> What are you doing here, Paul? Okay. I guess I'll have to leave both of you to sort out yourselves. Thank you. Sure. I ask again, Paul. What are you doing here? I'm here because I've come to speak with you. Nanya. We're losing time. And life is leaving us behind. You and I cannot continue to live like this. It is time that you and I put our past behind us and carve a new path for ourselves. You're the last person I wish to set my eyes on. I hate you. I hate you, Paul. And I love you. I never stopped loving you. You hurt me badly. I know. But listen, I'm... I have grown. I know better now. I see my mistakes. And I'm asking that you give us another chance. It might sound cliche, I know, but just try. Give me a chance to heal this wound in your heart. I tell you, Nene, you and I will be miserable for the rest of our lives if we do not end up as man and wife. to make you my wife in the shortest possible time. Baby. You, you don't have to say anything. I'm asking that you give me your hand. Let us reconnect. Our body, spirit, and soul. And I assure you that it will be magic and fireworks again. this close to you. I can't remember the last time you allowed me to touch you. Please, baby. Please. I'll make it up to you. Stop crying. Stop All I'm begging you is to let me to try again. Please, if you let me, then I will write I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm a change man now. I'm sorry. All I need this is a second chance. Second chance. I'm sorry. Chance. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is a second chance. Make I'm sorry. Every right I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor
My goodness, you needed to have seen their love scene. You will know destiny's power. Until you did, dear. I picked you guys. I was peeping. When did this happen? This afternoon. Oh my god. So, is that why you block ships? How did you know I blocked his line? I went there to bed. I was with him. Anyway, whatever happened between Chief and I is over. What am I even saying? Nothing actually happened. Just that the old man wanted to spend some money on me and I just allowed it to happen. And this man actually spent good, I mean, good money on me. That's it. He did? Yeah. Really? I am sorry, girls. I don't just want to bother you girls with details. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 I see. I see. Mm -hmm. I did, yeah. By the way, what did you tell him when he was complaining about my number not connecting? I told him you had an emergency and you went to the village. Mm. You two guessings. Get out. You two know something. Get away. <laughs> So you use me to cover a party. You are too intelligent oh, for my liking. Try to cover you. What are you saying? Ah, you be my girl. Who's so baby? Anyway, but really, this is not how to end this thing. Please, 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 please. I know better how to end it, okay? Because I don't trust what you're gonna say next. You started this whole chief thing to begin with. Then yeah. Please, first things first. I need you to go back to Chief and officially end whatever relationship you both had in the past. Please. I don't want Paul to find out and then things get complicated. Okay, mommy. I will. I have heard you. Exactly what I was trying to say. Oh my God. If sarcasm was the person, that would be you. <laughs> Always. Have you guys uh, taken some celebration and this uh, reunion of <laughs> That's a good idea. No, 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 no. This deserves a celebration. Because I'm happy. Now we're now we're reconciled. Now we're now we're reconciled. Let's get to the bottom of it. from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. And the promise to never to break it. Ooh. Ha, ha, ha. What is going on? <laughs> Celebration, jubilation. So what are you celebrating? <laughs> guess now, guess, 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 guess. You know I'm not good when it comes to guessing. Guess, guess, guess. How about you have to try now? If someone says guess, you have to just make an effort. Guess. Okay, okay. Guess. It's. It's obviously not your birthday. I mean. <laughs> you cannot even say that it's not my birthday because of course you know my birthday. So just, just tell me, please. Come on now, guess. I to try one guess. Eh? Mm. Eh? Got a contract. I don't know. I don't know. That... Oh my god. You know, I called you here to tell you that Chimenye and I got back together. Really? Yes. <laughs> Whoa, this, this is good news. It is good news. You know, I called you in here to celebrate with you because you are the mastermind behind this reconciliation. Look, I don't know how it happened, but I know I kept talking, I kept telling her, listen, you know, um, life is leaving us behind and we're losing time and we're losing a great opportunity to be together. I made her understand that the both of us will be miserable in this world without each other as man and wife. I don't know, I just kept talking. I don't know what worked. I don't know what worked, but I think that the stars aligned. And she said yes. And so yes, we're back together. But you're here to celebrate with me as the mastermind behind this reconciliation. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Greater days ahead for myself and Chine. Boy, I'm like a little boy. I'm all over the place. <laughs> I'm excited. And um, to a special friend, you're indeed a blessing in my life. Oh, thank Cheers. You. <laughs> and Chine says that we're going clubbing tonight, so you're invited. Going on? Why are you looking all tense now? Are you not supposed to come into the bed already? 
Chief, why didn't you tell me you were married? Are you kidding me right now? You're looking at a man like me. And you believe a man like me is not married or what? I don't understand. But of course there are men like you who are not married. I am not those kind of men. I am married and everybody knows that I am married. Good. Uh, can we do less of all this argument, please? Can you please call me to the bank? Uh, Chief, Chief, please. The reason I'm here is to tell you that whatever we shared is over. Everything. Stop calling me. Stop texting me. Please. Why? I don't do married men. Didn't you just hear me? How can you say that? No, no, what you're saying, is it even possible? You know, it is not possible. A beautiful girl like you, not to be dated married men, where can we find that beautiful babe who is not dating a married oh, man? Oh, well, maybe you might not see anyone. But I have a feeling. I don't want another woman to take my man. Listen, can we do less of this? Can you at least come? What is going on? Why are you resisting you me? Hear me? I said it is, listen, I have a policy. You would not make me change it. Stay away from me. Are you sure this will be right? No, I'm joking. And, and, and what are you doing? No, no, no. I, I, I... What? Walking out on me? What's going on? Saluted feelings from the inside and to stand with you till the end of time and the promise to never to break your heart How is he? Mm, it's okay. He's asleep. I think it's time for me to sleep. <laughs> mm. Baby, how is Paul? I hope he's not angry about the way I spoke to him the other day. Ah, uh, not at all. He's not. He's not. <laughs> hey, no wonder. He was just smiling. I've never seen him this happy before. <laughs> well, you know, behind every happy man, is a beautiful woman. <laughs> Wait. Has Paul found a wife? Uh, no, <laughs> not really. Not yet. Huh? So what's not making him happy? Okay. You see, Paul and Chine mm -hmm. are back together. It's a lie. I'm telling you. <laughs> Tell me something. Oh my god. Hey, I'm so happy. Oh. I, I hope Paul will get married to her. I just hope. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Hey. Well, the same thing I told him. The same advice. And he said, of course. Huh? That's it. I hope so. He said he's thinking towards that direction. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy. Seriously. You know, I can rest. Ah. Forget about Paul, he's a matured man. <laughs> what he decides to do is basically yeah, that's his concern. True, that's true. Ah. But I have a beautiful wife to enjoy. <laughs> I beg, I'm tired, Jerry. Ah. Rest. Those rest. Hmm? Yeah. yeah. Let that feel it from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. And the promise to never to break your heart. That is a promise. Chief. You sounded very, very harsh over the phone. What is the problem? What did she do? Your friend. Your friend had the nerves to tell me to my face that she's no longer interested in the relationship. How? Why? She said she found out I am married. And because I am married, she is calling it off. No, no, no. How, what, what is that supposed to mean? Where can we find that woman who is dating at all and is not dating a married man? At least in our part of the world. And I could not So, what did you say to her? Hey, why would I begin to join issues with her? I didn't say anything to her. You are the one who brought her for me. I, that's why I sent for you. Okay, Chief. Um, what do we do now? 
I need you to go and sit her down. Or maybe stand her up or whatever thing you can do. Talk some sense into her. I should have come out and show me You will mad at them. And they are. Okay, I will do that. Just calm down. No, 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 no. I am calm. Can't you see I am calm? Right on my bed, relaxing, talking gently. But I don't know how long I will be calm. Let her not provoke me. Let her not bring out the beast in me by telling me she's no longer interested in this relation. I know I will get angry. And the woman Chief, it has not got into that. It has got into that today. Don't be telling me that. Do you know how much I spent on that, your friend? In, in just within these few days? Again, the woman go man. The money I spent on her. Chief, I understand everything. But please, don't get yourself worked up. I, I will am, talk to her. I am already worked up. And I expect you to be talking to her already. I'm telling you the truth. You, you wait, woman. It is fine, Chief. I will do that. Excuse me. And I could have come. Now, Chief, for the marriage. That she, she's not dating a married man. She's not dating a married man. Who does that? Where can they find the man that will give them the kind of money that they are spending to the man? Why? The most important thing is that Jinaya has accepted to reform him everything. That settles it. Wait, let me get you. By saying that settles it, are you possibly implying you're in support? Hey, I was with Chifu. I saw the fire in his eyes. That man might hurt Chinenye if she refuses to return everything back to him. <laughs> oh, please. And what about the wonderful moments they spent together? Listen, that man needs to be made to understand women are expensive and you don't ask them to return anything. Thank okay. you. Yes. Why are you complicating things? Chinaya was the one who received the whole thing, not you. What is your problem? And he was the one who willfully gave her his money. It's not like she pointed a gun on his head, threatening to pull the trigger if he doesn't give her money. What's the problem? Mm. Suffice it to say that the money Miss Road had to pay for what he's been enjoying. By paying. Hey. Yes. And let me ask. Shoot. If that man comes for Chinaya tomorrow, Will he be able to save her? Oh, please. He cannot do anything. Nothing. See, <laughs> no. Okay, you won't understand what I saw. No, I treat you bad, I know I made you cry. I know I said a lot of things I shouldn't have said. Now I am down on my Uzama said you're angry because I ended the relationship. And what you don't tell me? Of course, I'm very angry. Why? Listen, no woman takes my money and walks away. It does not happen. So is there a particular way a girl collects the money from a man and walks away? Yes. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. Please tell me. Of course you know. No, I don't. Hey, stop playing kid with me because you know exactly what I'm talking about. And what you're talking about is wanting me back on your bed. Exactly. Can't we just do this? I am a destiny of an bear. Everything will be over. How else will I explain this thing to you? Chief, I have told you, whatever we had is over. I will not do it. I won't. Then you are going to the front. What, what did I hear you say? Okay. And what are you doing? Exactly what you asked. You want a refund. I'm trying to transfer your money back to you. I don't need the money. Then what do you need this man? What do you want? You. I, I want to just make it very simple for you. The only thing I need is you. Well, you cannot have me, Chief. I have said it before and I'm going to say it again. You cannot have me. I won't do it. I don't understand. If you open up this thing, I am Eva, or you may be, 
is it going to spoil? Why are you resisting and resisting? Now listen to me and listen good. I have your money with me. Whenever you are ready to take your money back, let me know. I will send it back to your account. Shinanye! Chief! Have a nice day. So now that you have her back, what's your plan? To make her my wife, of course. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. That's a very good plan. <laughs> When do you plan to set everything in motion? Uh, uh, slow down. I haven't even told her. I'm just telling you. Ah. But as, as, as soon as I, I let her know, you know, we'll go from there. Mbao, you don't have the luxury of time. You need to do that fast. You don't have the luxury of time at all. Please tell her so that she will know. I don't want her to start thinking that we did everything just to get her back into your bed. You know how women think. Yeah, that's true. I, I think I, I, see, I see what you're saying. I just do the needful as soon as possible. Okay. Mm. Well, best of luck. That's all I can say. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Thank and you. And make sure you keep me posted always. Of course, sir. But what are you saying now, Kobe? It's your wedding too. <laughs> part of the whole planning. Wedding of the century. I, I don't think it will be that long. I'll just make it quite, you know, just a mm. few persons that matter. Classy, low-key. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm happy. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> you see, you know, it fascinates me the way Chinenye is gradually making her way back into Paul's life. Because it's going to be one of those stories that melts the heart. Oh my God! My friend! <gasps> She's about to make history with her love story. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Before you start looking for hearts, yes, that will melt. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. I want you to remember that <laughs> there is chief who has invested so much into Shinaya's life. I don't understand. I mean, why are you even speaking to me about Chief? For goodness sake, we both know she has no future with a character like him. Hey, that man will come for me. Mm. And it will be too bad if that happens. Oh, please. The question is, why will he even come for her? Why? Usama, please, I'm in a very good mood and I do not need you to mess it up with your negative talk. Ah! I'm gonna be in my room. Huh. How do I explain to these people that Chief is actually a bad person? How? Oh. Oh, I should. I feel it from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. And I promise to never to break your heart. That is a promise from my heart. From the deepest part of my heart. I miss it here. <laughs> I know. This house misses you too. Really? So tell me, what does the house miss about me? Everything. Without you, this place is just a house and not a home. But now that you're here, I trust that you'll make it a home. I'll take this for you. I'll just um, take it to your room upstairs. Okay, um, so while you do that, um, I'll fix us something to eat. Okay, I'll just drop this off and I'll join you in the kitchen. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Did I hear you say 
Yeah, just help you out in the kitchen. <laughs> no. No, that is not you. You never help out in the kitchen, so what's changed? This is the new me. You're welcome. I got you, baby. See you in the kitchen. Wow. Wow. Could this be true? Oh, well, let's see how it pans out. Um, so what do you have in the kitchen? So I could um, I could make um that feelings from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. And the promise to never to break your heart. That is a promise from my heart. From the deepest part of my heart, I give you these words. To love and respect you with all of my life here. Yeah. Uh, ah! One more word from you, you're dead. Please don't kill me. Please, whatever you want, I'll give you. I will do it. Oh, please, please, I beg you. I don't want to die. I am not here to kill you. Except you want me to kill you. Oh, please, I beg you, don't kill me, please. I'm the only child of my parents. I don't want to die. Please, 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 please. Where is Chineye? She went out. Where did she go to? I don't know. I don't know where she went to, please. You're lying. Oh God, how can I lie? How can I lie with this? I, I'm not lying. I guess you think this is a joke. I mean joke. Oh God, I'm not joking, please. Now get up. Huh? I said get up. Swear. Where is she, Mom? Oh God. Oh, I get. I get. I get. No, no, no. I'm, I'm up. What is? Sorry. I'm up already. Hi. Hey. Sir. I said move. Sir. Sir. Change indeed. What do you what do you mean what I... listen, babe, mm -hmm. we what? need we need to talk. Talk about what? No, yes, we need to talk. Talk about what now? <laughs> what? What brought about this change? What change are you talking about? Listen, oh, oh yeah, oh, oh. <laughs> what change are No, what no, are you were doing things that I used to do, things you used to complain things about. Things that you begged me to help you out with. I, that's what I'm doing now. You should be happy. No, I'm feeling guilty because I ought to be doing them. No, you shouldn't feel guilty. You were downstairs doing something. I thought that it would be nice. I come up here and you just... Like, you, you came in here, you said this place is nice. You don't like it? <sighs> are you sure you're fine with it? I'm fine. Oh, God. You are sure you are fine? <laughs> come on now, stop. You know what? Let's, change. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Come here. I'm all ears. Yeah. What is it? I think that we should go see your people. Shut up. Yeah, we make this official. Sh wait, shut up, shut up. No. I'm serious. Say it again. I'm see thinking that, again. that it's time we go see your people, make this official. Ah! Yes! Oh, sorry. I need to shout. <laughs> well, you already did. <laughs> okay, okay. When, when are we going? Like right now. Oh, no, you're joking! <laughs> Thank you. I love you, baby. And I love you too. Oh, now you want to make me cry. Just cry. Oh, cry. That feelings from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. And the promise to never to break your heart. That is a promise. You see, Ref. So, what's the meaning of this? What are we doing here? What, what did we want? I need you to tell me exactly where your friend is. If I've just told you, I don't know how we're about, really. We both know you are lying. And you, you, you need to understand where you are. Stop lying to me and tell me what I want to hear. Chief, what reason do I have to lie to you? I'm not lying to you. Do I know? But I need you to understand something. You are in the middle of nowhere. 
and you are going to tell me exactly what I want to hear. Oh, <laughs> you will see something that is mightier than you. I'm a wise you. Chief, is this kind of kidnapping or what? Well, if it is, if it is kidnap, somebody will be demanding for ransom by now. Or maybe somebody must have shot somebody. But none of, none of that has happened. You are still here talking freely with me. Because I want you to play this card my own way. Then if it's not kidnapping, then what do we call this? Chief, I've just told you to... It change. is my own way of making you to behave like a human being. You see this person that is standing here? He's not the only one. No, of course, there are many of them. And you are in the middle of nowhere. Look at him. He's mean. When I say mean, I mean mean. Something with his friends. And I'm going to give them instruction in a situation where you fail to behave for them to go all out. Makachideke, they will mess you up. Chief, Chief, please just let me go. Sina! Eh? Come on, Sina! Chief, Chief, please. Do you think we're joking? I'm not joking. I know you're not joking. I know. I'm not joking. Yes. Listen to me. Take this. By the time you are ready to speak, you communicate with me. Shh! Shh! Hey! Hey! Shh! Oh! Usoma. Usoma, please, where is my cleanser? Usoma. Usoma. Uzo! Where did she go? Yuzi! 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 Where could she have gone to by this? It's real. It is real. Huh? Trust me. Ha! <laughs> okay, oh. I hope this lasts. It will last. Don't worry. I mean, he gave me his word and I believe him. Who? Paul? Uh -huh. That one. Who believes a woman should do the house chores? Everything should be done solely by the woman. You know, that is where a lot of young men of this generation get it all wrong. I mean... Relationship and marriage should be a two-way thing, mm -hmm. especially when it comes to finances mm -hmm. and house chores. Thank you. A man should be able to help his woman in the kitchen or with the chores, especially if she is sick or tired. There's nothing there. I mm -hmm. mean, who are you telling that one? Our Paul of the Old Testament. <laughs> My sister, he doesn't believe in that. He doesn't. <laughs> Which one is Paul of the Old Testament again? <laughs> Why are you sounding like you don't understand what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about. Don't mind me, I know. <laughs> you I know, know. <laughs> he keeps clamoring about how his father married his mother, how the mother worships the father, and he wants me to do the same thing. How simple is that? You know, in a way, you shouldn't blame him much. I mean, that is what he grew up with. I mean, that's how it was in his days. Hey. Even though it's not um, obtainable now, but I mean, just try to understand him a bit. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I am just so happy. I mean, I am super, super excited that I have my man back. And that's all that matters. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, now comes the best part of the story. Okay. He said he's going to see my people this weekend. Are you? Don't scream. <laughs> this is the best news of the year. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ever. This is what I'm talking about. Ever. Oh, yes, wow. I am excited. This is good. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Oh my god, I look like a bride already. Oh, I'm feeling like a bride already. <laughs> I can understand. <laughs> feel it from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. And I promise to never to break your heart. That is a promise from my heart. From the deepest part of my heart, I give you these words. That I die to love and respect you. With all of my life here. You sounded very troubled over the phone. Yes. What's the problem? It's Uzoma. What about Uzoma? Chief, Uzoma has been missing. And the worst part of it is that all my efforts to get her via the phone proved abortive. Well, if you have efforts to make over anything, I will advise you to begin to make the effort towards something that is important. Uzoma is not missing. Really? So then you must know her whereabouts. I know everything. What a relief. Mm, don't relieve yet. I am keeping her. And if she fails to do what I'm asking her to do, <laughs> she's not going to be released. Or oh, my mother. What really is going on, Chief? I mean, why would you keep my friend on such basis? So I am keeping her somewhere, and uh, she's going to remain there. Uh, Shinenye, I want Shinenye back on my bed. And Uzoma is the one that is going to make that happen. She's playing dumb with me. If she fails to put Shinenye where I want Shinenye to be, she's going to remain there forever. My goodness! Chief, I don't understand you. What have I said here now that is difficult for you to understand? Please. Don't give me this, I don't understand, useless slangs that you people use. It does not work with somebody like me. Because you understand what I'm saying. Chief, but you do know that keeping her against her will is kidnap, don't you? Well, different men have different ways they operate. This is how I operate and I don't care how anybody feels about it. Very simple. Please, listen to me. There are better ways to resolve this. Please, just let her go. I promise, I promise you we are going to find a solution as soon as possible. I am not going to take that risk. You see this one I'm already holding in my hand? This strategy I have devised to bring Shinaya back into my bed? <laughs> I am not going to take the risk of stepping down on it. She must have to come where I want her to be. What's wrong with God? Chief, this is not right. This is wrong on every level, Chief. Uh, you know what? Well, I think I have come to the end of this meeting. And I expect to be leaving now. So I want you to show me your back. That is, if you don't want me to bundle you into the same place where, 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 where Uzama is kept. Of course, I will do it. No, I will do it. Only to say about Pokta. <laughs> You people will keep making mistakes, believing you are smart. If you people fail to make the move that I want you to make, I will continue to make my own move. Moving commander at the man. For when I turn at the man. Feel it from the inside And to stand with you till the end of time And the promise to never to break your heart There is a promise from my heart From the deepest part of my heart Oh, oh. oh 
I guess the baby is sleeping. Ah, does he know how to do any other thing rather than to sleep and eat? <laughs> oh, it's tiring. Um, sweetheart, I hope you intend feeding our baby with breast milk for about at least minimum two years. Two years. Uh, does that still happen? Oh, what do you mean by does that still happen? I hope you're not trying to insinuate or tell me that you intend on not feeding him for that long. I mean breastfeeding him. Baby, I did not say I would not feed my child. How can I not feed my child now? Baby, you should know that we have near excellent infant formulas that are just like breastfeeding. Yes, now. Near excellent infant formulas, you say? Mm -hmm. That is a lie the manufacturers have sold to you. <laughs> Listen, generations after generations, you will also understand that there is nothing as perfect as pure breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> nothing can beat it. <laughs> I had it. I hear you. See how strong I am. Yes, sir. <laughs> Anyways, Paul and Chine came by. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't bother to tell my sins. Well, it's not late now. Guess what? What? They bought four cartons of infant formula for the baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> What did you say? <clears throat> yes, now. He went to the market and bought the most expensive one of all. I was so, so happy. Like, he's a really good friend to you. You should know that. Ah. Uh. <laughs> See that. So, are you the one who is going to lecture me now about my friend, Paul? See, I know him. We've been friends for over... Decades, so I know him. I know he's your friend. I'm just happy. I'm happy that him and Chine are together. I'm just so excited. Well, I'm also happy. I'm happy for them. Mm. At least, my prayer is that they all, um, at least something good comes out. Yeah, of exactly. It. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I pray so too. Amen. Amen. Uh, let's get back to the discussion. Uh, Man, come on, breast milk is important. forget something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at all. So, my, oh, sorry, our son is going to be breastfed exclusively for two years at least. What do you think? No, sir. He won't. Here's my suggestion. You see those things that Paul brought? Mm -hmm. You're going to bring them out. Okay? We've got two options. Either you sell them, one, or we give them out to those who want them. We don't go there. I'm not selling anything. Our baby needs them, and we have them. So, period. Yeah, our baby needs breast milk, and we have them. <laughs> I beg, I beg, I beg. At least two I years beg. excuse me. Two words. You can get in suck your own nipple now. I had I five years. <laughs> <laughs> I beg, go, 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 I beg. Come on, mm. please. Stop now. Eh? No, I'm just... <laughs> Stop, Come I on. beg. Stop. I think two years is not much. To stand with you till the end of time And the promise to never to break your heart You sounded very troubled over the phone. What's the problem? <sighs> That's because there's a big problem. But what happened? <laughs> Chief kidnapped Uzoma. Yes. You said? How? After you left. 
I came back home and she was nowhere to be found. I tried reaching her on call, but all my efforts proved abortive. So I went over to Chief because I wanted to know if he had any idea about her whereabouts. Would you believe he boldly told me to my face that he kidnapped and kept her? <coughs> my question is, why is he keeping her? Exactly what I asked him. And the fool said he was going to keep her forever. If you don't come back into whatever relationship you guys had. Yeah! What ca Hey, God I beg you. What kind of problem is this? Is it by force to date that... That... What do I even... What do, how do I describe that idiot? What's his problem? Exactly my sentiments. You know what? Don't bother. I'll take care of it. How? Not to worry. I'll sort it out. Let me drop you off at home. Please, I'm exhausted. Inside, feel it from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. And they promise to never to break your heart. That is a promise. From the deepest part of my heart, I give you this word. I'm an am. I'm an baby. Hey. Let, let, let me sit down first. This is why they appear like this. It be like better don't enter. You can say that again. Oh, yeah, just me now. Tell me what's in that. Obi, I just caught a very big fish today. <laughs> this is the kind of news I like to hear. I know. <laughs> Not just that though. She is paying in five million naira into my account before this weekend. <laughs> is it five guinea? Five M direct into my account before this weekend. Bam 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 bam. Eh? Shady, why me? I don't want you before. I'm serious. Hey, okay, Kibi. Hey, you don't know, understand. <laughs> Baby boo. Baby, you need to see the way I was pressing my button. My button <laughs> presser. Oh, no, I'm very, very proud of you. No, 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 no. See, eh? by this weekend, we will not be eating this nonsense again. <laughs> hey. Five guinea? Million naira direct into my account before this weekend. That is why I told you to relax. I know the exact button to touch at any given time to get any rich lady of my choice. My button press her. Ah. She she no fine pass. Ah, who is talking about beauty here? Mm, my love, we are talking about money. Five. Five M. Direct into my account. Little feelings from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. Yes. Everything is in your hands, Uzoma. I don't understand. Are you ready to tell me where to find Chino here? Or you prefer I shoot you and still find out my whole way? I don't know how to explain this. I don't know how where I'm at. I've said it before. I'm still saying it. Please, now. If after the counting of five, when you did not tell me where to find Chino here, you're dead. Huh? One. Two. Hey! Wait, wait! Wait, I will talk! I will talk, please don't shoot me. I will talk. Now you're ready to talk. I'm listening. I'm waiting. Little feelings from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. Uzoma, where have you been? I think I'm fine. Of course, I know you're fine. But the question is, where have you been? I came. My location does not matter right now. Please. I need you to do me a favor. A favor? What favor? How do I locate Mr. Paul's house? Excuse me? 
Why would you want to know Paul's house? I can't, my life is in danger. Chief is threatening to kill me if I don't take him to where Chinele is. What? <laughs> oh my goodness, I see. But then again, don't you think taking Chief to Paul's house will mean betraying Chinenye? <laughs> okay, this is not a betrayer. My life is in grave danger. They will kill me if I don't take them to where Chinenye is, please. No, 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 Uzoma. I'm sorry. I mean, I can't tell you Paul's house. Not on this basis. I'm sorry. Please, please, I can't. I can't, please. Please. They will kill me. They will kill me. Come on, Uzoma. You're being paranoid again. Why would they want to kill you? He's just threatening you. Don't worry. You need to. That's enough. Even with death. Hello? 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 Who's on? Hello? Hello? We had feelings from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. And they promised you never to break your heart. That is a promise. From the deepest part of my heart, I give you these words. What is the meaning of this nonsense? We need to talk, Chief. Listen, I don't have anything to talk with you. Of course we have. Can you move this car, please? We have everything to talk about, Chief. Except you want me to drive from this point straight to the police station and tell them that you kidnapped my friend. Listen, Shinanya, you are beginning to bite more than you can chew. And I'm not going to take that from you. Really? <laughs> Funny enough, you cost it, Chief. The game starts now. What do you want? I want you to release my friends. Two hours is all I give to you. Else I go to the police station. I was actually thinking you have something serious to discuss. Now I know you don't have anything. <laughs> Can you get off my car? Of course I have something. Let me give you a shock at you. My uncle is the commissioner of police. And trust me, you would not like what he would do to you if I report this case to him. Two hours is all I give to you to release my friend. Else, hmm, you don't want to. Two hours, Chief, is all I give to you. Let me have my friend. I am not joking you. So this is how she wants to play the game. I am going to show this girl. And we are going to play this game. Hello, Chief. Release her. What? I heard repeating myself, and I know you heard me. I say, release the girl. Okay, Chief. I'll do that at once. Good. Meet me at the club later tonight. All right, Chief. Set 
feelings from the inside And to stand with you till the end of time And the promise to never to break your heart That is a promise <laughs> You know, I am I'm happy you found love Thank you <laughs> <laughs> But still, I will Love to meet the young man is it necessary? Why not? It is. Why? Well, because a lot of young men in this town are just keen on going after girls who have supposedly made it. So they come to profess love to you pretending at the end of the day it's hard work. This one is not like that. Not at all. I believe you. But I still have to meet him. You know, meeting him will make me know if or not he's one of them. Okay, you win. I'll bring him to you. Settled. Settled. <laughs> Come on, love is facing all over you. Thank you. <laughs> I need that feelings from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. And the promise to never to break your heart. That is a promise from me. So, from the deepest part of my heart, I give you these words. That I die to love and respect you with all of my life. Good afternoon. Afternoon. Um, please, my sister, it seems I lost my way. Um, how do I locate Krista area? Krista area? Yes. Krista area is very far from here. Huh? You mean to do like five drops before you get there? What? How? We're entirely in a different local government area. Krista area is very, very far from here. Are you serious? Yes, my sister. Um, sis. Where? Please, can you do me a favor? Mm. No problem, what is it? Okay, um... Can, can you help me with some money? I, I need transport. I, I'm, I'm stranded, please. So fine girl like you, with all this package, you make you package. With original hair. In a journal moi. Money for transport. <laughs> Why do you people keep on using the same method? Tell me that you don't have money for transport, you need help. Eh? Then you use the same method when they use I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My sister, as it is now, I don't have any money to give to you. And to stand with you till the end of time And the promise to never to break your heart That is a promise from my heart so, From the deepest part of my heart I give you these words my heart That I die to love and respect you With all of my life yeah. Oh yes I just finished talking with Chinenye. She has confronted the money, Miss Roadman. And if he dare fails to release Uzoma in two hours, he will be arrested. Of course, I am certain because her uncle is a senior police officer and the said uncle has been briefed. Oh, relax, <laughs> nothing will happen. You see, this man actually thinks we are women and there's not much we can do. But Chinenye is about to teach him the lesson of his life. Okay. Alright, baby. Alright, baby. Okay. Oh, I love you, baby. 
<laughs> Baby, she said her uncle wants to meet me in person. Wow. That means she told her uncle about you. Exactly. Wow. Yes. Right step in the right direction. She believes in you. And this time, <laughs> don't leave any stone unturned. There will be no mistakes. I trust you. I know what you can do. So, when are you going to see the man? Tomorrow now. Hopefully tomorrow. Okay, no wala. And before you go, in case I know the house, you need to guard your way. Uh, Babe, you need to dress like say your past no day this country. Eh? Uh, uh, relax now. Uh, now you won't go to teach me my work again. Oh, master. Uh, uh, you don't know me again. Relax. Babe, eh? I know what here they talk. No go for my hand. See that you're bling bling. <laughs> Wait. Now tomorrow, if you know where I'm, tomorrow. Wait, now you won't come teach me the way I dress. Now you won't teach me this business. I know say you be OT master. Now you sabi everything. Ah. But that bling bling. <laughs> you know say now they make you be like say. Relax, hey. relax. <laughs> me now old digger for this business. Relax. We that feelings from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. And the promise. Who is there? Who is there? You who? Get you something to eat. So that is the worst day of my life. Hey. That is the worst day of my life. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, thank goodness you got back safe at least. I'm sorry. I'll go get you something to eat, okay? It's okay. No? I just need to go take my shower. Okay, I'll help you. I'll help you. Sorry. Take it easy, okay? Are you sure he's still coming? Of course. As a matter of fact, he should be on his way now. Okay, he better be because I have a meeting with the client by 1 p.m. on the dot. Mm. 1. This is just 11 a.m. Before 12, he should be here. I think your phone. Oh, he's the one calling. All right, thank you. Take the call and find out where he is. Hello? Okay, you're already at the estate. Okay, I'm coming to pick you up now. Let me go and pick him up. Unlimited feelings from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. And the promise to never to break your heart. That is a promise from my heart. From the deepest part of my heart, I give you these words. That I die to love and respect you with all of my You. So you are still in this lifestyle of yours. Ah, uh, you've not changed. Baby, are you okay? 
You are still with this lifestyle of yours. Huh? Is it your uncle? I told you. Are you okay? I told you to change this lifestyle of yours, else you end up in shame. Uh, uh, oh, let's see that. Baby, wait. <laughs> Baby, oh. wait. Uh, 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 Baby, wait. Is it Wait. What's going on here? You see that young man? He's one of the people you should avoid with your life. Else you will make your life a living hell. Okay. Avoid it! Baby! Feelings from the inside, and to stand with you till the end of time. And the promise to never to break your heart. There is a promise from, my heart. from the deepest part of my heart. I give you this word. No, don't so worry. Respect you. Uh -huh. life, yeah. You don't ask me what is going on. What happened? What the hell is going on? Huh? Um, my dear, hope. Let me explain to you. Your uncle is mistaking me for another person. So why didn't you stay back and defend yourself? My dear, there is nothing to defend. Someone just said something bad about you and you said there is nothing to defend? Yes. Hope, you are a woman. And it is in your hands to let your uncle understand that he is mistaking me for another person. Wait, are you saying it is my fault? I didn't say so. So let's go back there my dear. and defend yourself, okay? Let's go back there so you can defend yourself. I am not going back there. You see that place? I am not going back there. That means he's right. Of course, yeah. You believe him? Of course! You, you believe what your uncle said? Not really. Not, not, not that I believe what he said. But it appears to me as if I'm wasting my time loving you. Since you can believe your uncle on his cheap lies <laughs> without confirming from me. Baby, wait. We can sort this out. Baby! I beg, I'm, I'm, Baby, I'm, please. I am wait, not believing for it. I'm not believing for it. You believe your uncle, right? Baby. Go and meet him now. now. Honey, where's Hope? So that you won't believe it. Huh? What's happening? Who did she bring? A former. What? That is who she brought to me. A former. A former. The one that broke your kid's sister emotionally. The very same a former. What's wrong with that guy now? What's his problem? You, you, you know, sucking wealthy women dry is a very lucrative business in this town. I'm telling you. You know, you see them going about driving big cars, wearing all sorts of designers, living in big houses, and just showing affluence big, everywhere. Big life. From the wealth of innocent women. And that is the kind of business that it deals to us. The same kind of business. What kind of world are we in? What kind of life is this? You know, he was even walking in and then he said, hey, you prepare so so soup for me. The next time I meet that boy, I will kill him. Huh? No, no. Please, you won't kill anybody. Just calm down. I am not taking permission from you. I am telling you that if I see him anywhere, I will kill him. Be calm down. Hmm? Just calm down. Hey. Nonsense. Ah. From the inside, and to stand with you till the end of time, and the promise to never to break your heart. There is a promise from, my heart. from the deepest part of my heart. I give you these words that I die to love and respect you with all of my life.
back early. What's here happen? You can't believe who my uncle is. Who? Look at Kinsley. Kinsley? Did he recognize you? 100%. Jesus. Hey! Forget Allah Chagumani. And I am sure he has not forgiven you for what you did to his sister. What I did to that family is unforgettable. So, so, what's next? What's the next plan? I have already told him that her uncle is mistaking me for another person. Maybe from there I will know how to plot things. For now, there is no hope. No, 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 no. Nice one, nice one. Oh, ah, no, 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 no. The man no need to recognize you. He's mistaking you to someone else. I don't already place my mind for that 5M. I don't know, I know, I know, I know why my village will be wicked like this. Eh? Each time my, 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 my destiny helper don't reach my doorstep. Now that time my village will not say they will come. Eh? Look at five million naira now. Wait, wait. Mm, you know, press the button. Well, you know, press the button. And I lie, yo, that five million. Ha, no, bam, 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 bam. All I need is an explanation. And then I'll give you an explanation. You see that young man? He makes his living out of women. He will come to you, pretend to be in love with you, tell you all the sweet things you need to hear. And then as time goes on, he begins to build you. And then once he has gotten what he wants, trust me, the next course of action is he's going to block you on all his social media handles. And of course, you block on the real phone, the normal calls. You discover you can't reach him again. That is who he is. Do you have proof? The proof is not far fetched. I said, do you have proof? I said it is not far fetched, did I? He did that to my sister. Hmm? Bless him. He wrecked my sister emotionally, made away with four. Million naira. Yeah. Are you sure about this? What sort of silly question is that? Didn't you notice the moment he saw me, he left? He was just. And then he left. Hmm. Because he knows me. He knows. But he told me he's a contractor oh. that supplies building materials to construction companies. Hmm. That was the same format and exactly what he said to Blessing. I'm not done talking. <laughs> okay, since it's so difficult for you to understand, let me tell you this. The next time he's going to come to you, telling you that he's been having some issues with the goods he wants to supply to some construction company. And that someone made away with some certain amount of money. Eh? And then he's going to look for a way to ask you to give him that money. That is if he has not already told you such bullshit already. Exactly what he told me. Oh. <laughs> now you know I'm not lying now. Ah. Ah, that guy looks so innocent to engage in such life. does not show on the face. In fact, men who come to you pretending to be innocent, fear them. Limited feelings from the inside And to stand with you till the end of time And they promise to never to break your heart That is a promise from my heart. <laughs> Honestly, I'm bothered. Bothered about what? I mean, 
It's not just as if our friend got her man back. He actually proposed to her and she said yes, which is a good thing. That is exactly my problem. That is exactly where I have a problem with this whole thing. Okay. We both know that Paul very well. He's a man of different characters. Listen, Ozoma, I know where you're coming from. But then again, what if Paul has truly changed? Remember you once told me you saw the change in him. Why are you sounding different? It's not as if I'm sounding different. Okay. Let's just look at it this way. Mm -hmm. What if he reconciled with our friend? Mm -hmm. Proposed to her mm -hmm. just to break her heart again? Uh, you know our friend cannot survive it. Zoma. My goodness. I think you're just being paranoid. Oh yes, because what if he has truly changed? Which of course I know he has because you could see, you could clearly see that he has genuinely changed. I mean, what if he only came back to our friend because he wants to rewrite all of his wrongs? What if he wants to make it up to her for all the wrong things he has done to her? Or better yet, what if he proposed to her because he wants to even make her the happiest woman in the world? Have you thought about that? I don't really know what to say right now. Exactly why you shouldn't be saying anything. All you need to do is be happy for our friend. My goodness. I'm so excited. Babe, I'm happy. I'm, no, 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 no. But I'm, I'm, on a more serious note, I'm very, very happy for her. I don't just want anything to happen to her. That's all. I neither want you to be worried because everything is going to be fine. I that feelings from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. And I promise to never to break your heart. There is a promise from my heart From the deepest part of my heart I give you these words my heart da -da -da. <sighs> She's over I, I truly love this guy I can't stop thinking about him Are you okay? He's the last person you should love. Don't you think he's a changed person now? Those kind of men cannot change. Feeding off an innocent woman's sweat is what he does for a living. You should avoid those kind of people, please. Okay, I mean... I mean, what else can I say? I, I just can't wait to settle down with a man of my own and raise children. Uh, eh, just look at me. God will do it. Just trust in him, okay? Thank you so much. You know, you've always been a source of strength to me in the midst of confusion. What are friends for? I truly appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> ah, so how are you doing now? That feelings from the inside And to stand with you till the end of time And I promise to never to break your heart There is a promise Exactly what I want. Listen, I do not know what you want. If you do not have anything meaningful to say, get the hell out of my phone. You know, I had wanted to play this game with you as an intelligent woman. But the way you are going, you are making it appear as if there is a struggle and the Shinenye do not push me to the wall. Because you are not going to like this game. I am not. I'm not 
playing games with you. On the contrary, we have a game and the game is already on. And I am committed to playing this game with you. Listen, I need you to come to my hotel. Give me what I want you to give me exactly the way I want you to give it to me. Wait a minute. Are you, are you blackmailing me? I am not a blackmailer. I am chief. And I say what I want to say the way I want to say it. Listen. Your time is already counting. In the next 90 seconds, I'm out of this place. Say what you want to say. I want to give you double of everything you have given to me. And something told you money is my problem? Of course money is your problem. That is the only reason you have been on my neck. It is not. Money is not my problem. Okay? Okay, Chief, I am begging you. Can we please end this? If you want to end it, then give me what I want. You know what I want, Shinenye. I want you on my bed. And I'm giving you another opportunity to make up your mind to give me what I want. Listen, like I told you already, if you delay, if you fail to make up your mind to come to my hotel and give me what I'm asking you, I am going to sit your Paul down. Oh yes, I will sit him down and brief him on every single thing that is happening between us. Make up your mind. I mean every single thing I've said. Chief. Chief, you got... Chief! 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 That feelings from the inside And to stand with you till the end of time And the promise to never to break your heart There is a promise from my heart Woo! From the deepest part of my heart I give you these words my heart. That I die to love and respect you With all of my life
sign And to stand with you till the end of time And I promise to never to break your heart That is a promise from my heart Woo! From the deepest part of my heart I give you these words That I die to love and respect you With all of my life your body for me to do what I want to do with it. Sex is not a big deal. Listen to me. You are going to give it to me. There is no alternative to that. Listen, I am going to make this clear. I am going to do it. Then watch me blow your relationship with Paul into smithereens. Chief. Um, don't, don't, don't do this. When I want to bite, I bite so deep. You have until tomorrow to make yourself available in my hotel room to give me what I want. If you fail, I am going to start my own. Trust me, you will not like it. Hello? Hello? I... Can... Hey, you. Uh, huh. hey. huh. you look scared. <laughs> no, I... I'm, I'm not. I'm, f I'm fine. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Here? Yes. Oh, my... um. My, my my friend called. I, I, I didn't want to wake you up, so I I decided to come out here to receive the call. With that feelings from the inside, and to stand with you till the end of time, and the promise to never to break your heart. That is a promise from my heart. From the deepest part of my heart, I give you these words. I am not here to harm you. So there is no reason for you to be terrified. Chief. Chief, what are you doing here? What exactly are you doing in my house? And how did you get in here? Forget about how I got in here. The important thing is that I am here. And I came knowing full well he is not in the house now. Please. You are not supposed to be here. Please. Nobody tells me where I am supposed to be. Huh. I am already here and my coming here is a message on this own for you to know. I know where you are. And I know where you are going to be next. Therefore, there is no hiding place for you. Chief. You need to know that? Chief, please. Take your money. Take your money. Take a walk. Leave me alone, please. This Nobody is talking about the money. I want you. Uh, and I am going to have you. That is the only way we are going to solve this problem. And if you push me to the wall, the next time I will come, I am going to come when he is in the house. Think about it. Chief, please. Don't shift me. Oh, God. This is not happening. 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 This is not happ
present you with true love Undiluted feelings from the inside And to stand with you till the end of time And the promise to never to break your heart That is a promise from my heart Woo! From the deepest part of my heart I give you these words from my heart I die, To love and respect you With all of my life here yeah. You are under arrest for theft and extortion. Listen, what is the meaning of this now? You took my four million naira, pretending to be in love with me when you're not. <laughs> Listen, you gave me that money out of love. I did not take it by force. Why are you involving the special force now? Yes, I involved them because I need my money right now. Now! Oh, blessed. We never had any agreement that I was going to pay you back the money now. <laughs> Big no, no. You pretended to love me when you're not. You did all that to suck me dry. Hey. Officers, arrest him! Yeah, you guys are wasting time. Eh? Move. My brother, my brother, I don't, I don't give money. I don't give money. When you reach the station, you explain better. Yes, what you move? Go, nobody will come for me, officer. Please, we can say do this thing here. Please. You see, that girl played on my intelligence and she is not going to get away with that. Not possible. Chief, Chief, please, I beg you to shit your sword. As a matter of fact, she's ready to refund your money. The money is not my problem. I can't forget about the money. But you see that girl? She has to come on my bed. We have to do what a man and a woman, uh, you know, what they do together in the real sense of the word. We have to do it. And, and that is the only way this problem can be solved. Chief, please. Please don't do this. Well, my mind is made up already. And there is no going back. Uh, do you care for anything? No, whatever thing you care for, just name it. It will be provided. When you see that girl, forget about that girl. Forget about that girl. Little feelings from the inside. And to stand with you till the end of time. And the promise to never to break your heart. <laughs> no, don't even start. Because you know I'm not. What is it? 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 How did you get in here? Who are you? Kira, yeah, over to you. Explain. Who is this man? I can see that you have lost your tongue. I told you that I am going to destroy you. You actually felt I was joking, right? What is he talking about? She's not going to answer, but I'm going to help you. You see this one here that you are parading as a woman? I was dating her. She is my babe, and I want her back. I don't understand. You would not be able to understand this because you are just claiming. You know what I mean. I was dating her. And I was spending heavy amount of money on her. All of a sudden, she woke up one morning and said she was no longer interested and that's it. I want every single money I have spent on this woman paid back to me. Can you tell me exactly what is going on here? Well, 
when we had issues. All I needed was a source of joy. Then I met him. We started dating. <laughs> but when I found out he was married, I wanted to pull out. But he refused. <laughs> he kept insisting that I must date him. But I swear to you, I haven't been with him since I got back with you. I swear. Is that all? I don't understand. What, what, what do you mean by is that all? Did you do hear what you have been explaining? Is it by force to date you, sir? Are you not supposed to be planning on how you are going to push this woman out of your life? For cheating on you? You're in my house, sir. I'm the one asking the questions. Is it by force to date you? What I'm saying is that she, we dated. Did you hear that part? You dated and so. <laughs> Sex is not everything. You might have had an encounter with her body, but I intend to have an encounter with her soul and heart for the rest of my life. My darling, I told you to wear this outfit, look beautiful, look good, so that I can take you to somewhere really special where we have very good friends waiting for us. Lady Claren, Kingsley, your friends from school and work. Because I was going to propose to you and ask that you spend the rest of your life with me. But since we have the situation here, I think it's even more fitting that I, right here and now, that I'm going to ask that you spend the rest of your life with me. Baby, I lost you before. And I am not going to lose you again. I have you now to love for the rest of my life. And I give you my word that nothing is going to come between us for as long as I live. You marry me, baby. That feeling from the inside.